If you guys are brand new to the channel, I hope you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, all that stuff. This is the review of WWE Payback 2020, one week after Summer Slam. Uh, can't believe that. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and uh, if you guys are brand brother. new to the channel, boom, boom, ba boom. Subscribe. We're live after every single WWE event ever. What's up, wrestling fans? This is the Payback Review 2020. Jake DeMarco in the house. How are all you guys doing tonight? I hope everybody's well, wherever you are. Um, I, I'm going to tell you how I would have booked this in a minute. So for the people wondering, I'm going to tell you how, how I would have booked this deal. I mean, they probably have these more uh, surprising long-term fans of plans you know that they're gonna roll with which I get having that but um, I would have gone with some other things I would have gone even cra I would have gone a little crazier to be honest with that ending so uh, first of all what I would have done is I would have had Roman Reigns win clean in the match would have had him come down in the middle of the match when they're hurt. Like, did the whole ring thing fall apart? Well, I guess it's not clean. It's not a clean win. I would have had Roman Reigns come down just like he did. The ring collapses. He comes in. He wins. And then as he's uh, celebrating, you know, uh, Otis could have cashed in. And as Otis cashes in, uh, maybe Reigns could have made a nod. And maybe Retribution could have attacked uh, Otis. And then after they attacked Otis, they could have all stood in the ring and been like with Reigns. I don't know. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Just a little lackluster. But, um, you know, I think that they're looking to do something bigger here that, you know, that maybe I'm just impatient about. You know, I don't know. That would have been an insane ending. It would have gone out of it. It would have been nuts. Would have had Roman Reigns. With maybe maybe uh, if, if Reigns is going to have different music and a different look and a different vibe, I, I don't know. I, I People have been talking about that. I don't think Reigns is going to lose his music. I just feel like it's too part of him. I don't think they're going to change his stupid music. And, uh, you know, so you're not even you're not really getting anything different there. People talk about like you need to have that or that needs to happen or whatever the case is. Um, that don't it. I mean, if you were going to do it, you'd have him do it Monday on Raw, right? Or SmackDown, rather, because on SmackDown, he would come out as like kind of like the new Roman Reigns after the full heel turn, which tonight, you know, really indicates that he's pretty much a heel, like for sure, you know, which we kind of knew already in a way. But now he's definitely sort of like a, a scumbag uh, idiot uh, douche. So, you know, you think that Friday he would come out with, you know, different attire and that, that sort of thing. But it really was kind of stupid. Uh, I, I got to say it was this show tonight was pretty stupid. I, I came out of this show tonight the only thing I cared about that that I cared about really that made sense to me was Bobby Lashley won a belt. Bobby Lashley should win. That match was all right. And Ask in his dumpster fire. Oh no, he's here! The dumpster fire's here! Ask in his 
dumpster fire, his dumpster fire. Mask in his dumpster fire, his dumpster fire. Mask in his dumpster fire, his dumpster fire. Mask in his ass, in his ass, dumpster fire. Fiend still has the best entrance in resting. Too bad WWE won't shit with him. Yeah, I mean, uh, I agree. I think The Fiend's entrance, it feels like this guy could be special, but I feel like The Fiend should sort of start being this crazy guy who cuts these evil promos now or something like that instead of the Fire 5 Funhouse, which I, I think doesn't work anymore and I don't care about it. Scavenger, thanks for the $12. And I also, uh, yeah, they protected him again with Braun. We we thought we saw that coming too. We saw everything coming tonight. Almost, almost everything we saw coming. Didn't see the ring breaking. Um, scavenger, thank you very much, scavenger, for the twelve dollars to lead into this tonight. Uh, much appreciated, man. Scavenger, twelve bucks. Without the donos, we're dead. So thank you, scavenger, for uh, becoming uh, the uh, temporary champ for the moment of the stream. Top donation coming from scavenger. I'm gonna put them on hold real quick. You want to get them in? Bring them in. We got Jake Demarco here as well, looking sassy in his little black T-shirt. What's up in your little black t-shirt, little black t-shirt boy? Oh, I muted you. Hold on. There you go. There we go. Get me all teased and excited. Yeah. Yeah, this show was extremely disappointing. We called it a mile down the road. We knew it was going to happen. We even said as soon as the show kicked off tonight, a few people in the chat called it as well on Twitter. Oh, there's no LED posts, so they're going to yeah. destroy the ring at some point. I was assuming Retribution would do it. Yes. But... I didn't think that no. the ring was going to implode that way. I thought we thought something no, would happen. No, because we've but. seen that so many times. It's it's a it's a moot point. It's not exciting. Really. I bet you it was Charles Robinson pitched it because he wanted to try to upstage the uh, the other referee. Yeah, that was a hell of a bump that he took over the top. You know, collapsed rope. What's the other referee's name? Doan or something? I always forget his name. Because he had a great Doan. sell what a, three years ago or something. Two yeah, years his, ago. He, up and <laughs> it was hilarious. It's, it, but Charles Robinson did the whole like over the top rope Shawn Michaels. Yeah, he went completely, you know, <laughs> head over feet, up and over, tipped over himself. So that was pretty funny. But sadly, you have to look to the referee for a little bit of enjoyment. This this match with Roman not coming out, I get what they were going for, but I didn't care for it. Oh, he's not going to sign the contract till he's coming down to the match, and they're really trying to amp up the heel run. I wish he had new music, like you said. They're not going to change that. They're not going to make a lot of things different like they should be. He should be a whole new character as a right. heel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Instead, he's just going to be a bit cooler and a bit more edgy Roman. Well, it, he may in fact be, um, he may in fact have a slight change. Sometimes when you're starting these turns, you don't just do it before the turn. Usually you do it after the turn. So you make it clear the guy is turned and then is when the change comes. So it is possible that Friday night is when we sort of get the, committed change maybe but maybe not because he's so Rome this is so synonymous with Roman they don't want to change those things so that may be it but what they're definitely doing is the way I see it is part of the reason they're doing this to me is because Roman may go missing at times during this pandemic because if it gets really bad he may need to go away again and yes. so I believe they're treating Roman now they're actually going to treat Roman Reigns like Brock Lesnar I believe. The it, it, problem is, is that one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, too, we didn't get to discuss. They said on the WWE Network, the WrestleMania must go on show that they had, that the reason Roman was gone wasn't for his sickness, but was instead because of the fact that he had twin babies. Right. So this whole time we were, we were worried about, you know, his illness and, you know, dealing with his cancer. Well, but where, and, didn't that report come out that, that way? That was the initial report, but every the, the talent themselves were saying on the documentary that it was because he had newborn children, newborn twins. Well, then you're right. Maybe then maybe I'm inaccurate then. Maybe they are just putting Heyman maybe, with him. Maybe everybody always just assumed that it was because of his cancer and Instead, really, it, it was just because he didn't want to put his new newborn children at risk. I get, and listen, I understand that. You, I mean, and they say once the children hit roughly six months, that's when your immune system starts to kick in. So that's uh, why it would make sense that he's able to come back now. Right, right. He was like, "I'm not putting my kids at risk. I'm gonna and not I, for the first six and months. Listen, once they get to the point where they can somewhat start, to I defend commend their him body. for that. He should have done. He's right to do that. He's very right to do that. Because yeah, 
I would do the same thing. I ain't going to work. I'm not putting my babies at risk. Um, you know, they're until they're old enough to be able to fight something if they get it. You know, like you said, because because yeah, almost everybody the kids deal with the COVID pretty well, damn well. The kids just their immune systems take it out. But we have heard stories. Some of the I think it's like 20 percent of the kids who have had problems. They've been people under a, a year. Right. So, you know, you I get it. I, I yeah. Exactly. So if that, and I could see it. So if that's the case, then that makes. But especially sense. with him, you know, having having the new family, that makes sense. And we always just assume that it was due to the leukemia. I mean, we didn't just outright assume that was what was reported initially. But yeah, I mean, we was reported. So, yeah, a lot of people thought that. So. If that's not the case, then I mean, you know, I mean, I hope we never find out. I hope that co- the COVID doesn't break out to where we have to like go, oh, shoot, he's gone. See, it is that, you know, you don't want that to happen. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But good Lord, man. Roman Reigns with the win tonight. If you're in the chat, did you like Roman Reigns win tonight? Did you like what they did? Do you like that he's healed? Is he healed? Is he not healed? Do you think he's just a tweener? What do you think about Roman Reigns? What's going on? We are going to take phone calls in a few minutes. At the number, 339-226-6610. The number is going to go up in a second. If you guys want to support the channel and you want to say something about Payback tonight, Super Chat down below or Streamlabs in the description box all the way down. Everything else is there. Keith Lee, bask in his glory. What did you think? I thought his promos were cringe. I don't know why, but Keith Lee is weird to me on the main roster. He keeps doing this. What's this about? Like I'm gonna keep doing this in the in the awkward with Brad with uh, Bradshaw, JBL. He was just bizarre with JBL. He just kept going, hmm, like uh, wh- yeah. It seemed like what was really that? uncomfortable. Oh, you're trying to sound like oh, what you're saying is interesting and enticing, but he just couldn't act. It was very very awkward. Oh my God, was it? I mean, I don't care what you say out there. That was awkward. I like Keith Lee. I loved NXT Keith Lee. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think in, unfortunately in NXT, I liked Adam Cole and Velveteen Dream. They were my top two guys in in NXT, Velveteen Dream and Adam Cole. Keith Lee was below that for me, but he was very good and I really enjoyed him. And I would, I was like, I would have him on my roster, but this guy that I'm seeing on TV right now, this, this guy is goofy. Like he's like, like. All this looking and the and the weird stuff he says, like, what are they doing with Keith Lee, dude? He's like a, like, I almost think he's like retarded or something. Like, it's just weird. Like, what are you doing? He's they're either giving him too much to to act, or they're directing him terrible, or or he just can't do it. I I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take a real quick call first because we got we got phone calls coming in, lots of phone calls. Uh, eight six five. What up? Yo, 865, we lost them. They hung up. They got cold feet. Uh, Jake, what did you think about Keith Lee tonight? Because I I was confused. I mean, granted, he's back in his shorts, but he's still got the same crap, you know, entrance music. It was a little bit different, but still. Thank God he had his shorts. Thank God he had his shorts. Thank God he had his shorts on, but he still still covered up his chest. Now, quickly, let me throw this out there. A lot of people said this, and there's the phone numbers right there. There's my Twitter. There's everything that's important. Uh, Patreon right there as well if you want to support the shows. Patreon is loaded. 30 hours of bonus content, my wife's podcast, my podcast, Corrupted Podcast, and so many podcasts all during the week. There's the Patreon. Thanks for signing up. Um, People say, what about Otis? You know, and, and, and I changed my mind on this. First, I ranted and said, well, Otis is white, so Vince thinks it's okay for the white guy to be fat. But with the black guy, they put a thing on him. I'm That's wrong. I was wrong in saying that. I, here's what it is. Vince thinks Otis is a funny comedy act. But he, it's actually the opposite. So anybody that thinks it's like a racist thing, it's actually the opposite. Vince McMahon thinks that Keith Lee is so important and, and and serious that he doesn't want him to not be taken seriously. So Vince thinks by putting on that cover up that he'll be taken more seriously and he'll you know he'll look better. But yeah, with, Danny but, said without the skirt tonight, he looked less country club and more burlesque dancer. So. Yeah, it was just like, they got to get rid of it. Let the guy have his shirt off. He looks better with his shirt off. Vince is wrong. You're wrong, Vince. I understand. He thinks it makes him look less goofy. And he thinks Otis looks goofy, but that's okay because Otis is supposed to be goofy. So that's why Otis gets away with it because Otis is... <laughs> so he wants to see the fat. But with Keith Lee, he's like, I don't want to see that. You need to. We need to take him more seriously. Let's cover that up. But Vince doesn't understand 
that that doesn't matter to most people. And in fact, seeing how big Keith Lee is, he's different than Otis. As long as he doesn't act like a slobbering weirdo, he won't be taken that way. He'll still be he'll be taken like, damn, this guy looks like the the refrigerator Perry or somebody. He looks awesome. Like that's what Keith Lee looks like. He looks awesome. So let him do that. But they won't let him do that. Now, Kevin Owens is different. Kevin Owens doesn't like having his shirt off. Kevin Owens feels more confident with his shirt on. And I think he's right. Kevin Owens looks weird. He's got hair and man boobs and hairy back. Kevin Owens with a shirt off looks kind of cringe. And Kevin Owens with a shirt off, he doesn't like himself without a shirt on, without a shirt off. So Kevin yeah, Owens... he's not confident or comfortable, so he's always pulling at himself or trying to adjust his shorts. And he said he wasn't able to be as confident in the match as he likes yes. to be. So he's fine. That's fine. I think Kevin Owens actually looks good with the shirt, with the cutoffs, because he looks like he's sort of like a cage fighter guy. And he's like, you but know, that's whatever. That's his choice. That's yes. the point. And it's his, his choice, but it's also something he's been doing since before he was in the WWE. So that's different. But having a tight little compression shirt on, obviously to keep in all your fat, like it just doesn't look right. Anyway, we're going to move on from that, but it's just something to think about. Let me play a donation uh, while, we're, while we're at it. So much more to talk about. Roman Reigns, the full heel. Is he a tweener? Do you like it? Do you not like it? There's a lot. There's hundreds of calls coming. I'm telling you, these calls are blowing. What else we got? Oh, Jesus. a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Diverse. That's it. Bubbly. Look at this stuff. What oh. up, brother? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's if the other two guys were smart, they would have waited for Roman to show up. Also defies logic how Braun takes 10 chair shots but can't kick out of one spear and Bray just goes to sleep from ball shot. I guess he had to win since he had Heyman and that new T-shirt. Well, remember, they do it all for Roman. Nothing's changed. They do everything for Roman. We've been saying this for seven years or what? No, or six years or whatever it's been. It feels like seven years. It's probably been like a little bit less. but Five years. They do it all for Roman. And we said this. This whole entire pay-per-view was for Roman. SummerSlam was to tie up all the stories they were telling, and when they found out Roman was coming back, they wrote this, and they put in an actual pay-per-view for Roman. They did all of this for fucking Roman. So, like, yeah. that's the whole goal. So if you don't think he wasn't, you know, going to win, I mean, you're this was a, like a, almost a lock that he was going to win. And think about how many times they recapped you know, on Raw, NXT, and SmackDown, the bump, all those other shows, Roman's return, Roman's return, then everything on SmackDown was, you know, Roman's back, Roman's back. He had, you know, multiple, uh, not himself appearances, but build-ups to his appearance on SmackDown. Right. And then obviously the build-up to tonight, they cut to Paul Heyman multiple times and Roman once. So that's what they were trying to do. Right. just get Roman over as much as possible, even even not as a, a face. But I think he's going to be a full-blown heel just with more of an uh, – he'll be a heel, but he's going to be like a, a, a tweener more. So he'll be a heel, but he's going to do you know more, more or less on the lines of like the edgy stuff than the outright bad guy things. Right. So he, they're going to try and have him look more cool than – Which, evil. I mean, they should, right? I mean, so that's – but you know what depends but, on how they handle it. But how, how much a, how much a Roman is gonna just take over everything? We're gonna find out about that. So I mean, he's really he really is gonna start just taking over everything. It feels like, um, and you know, it, it's always been that way. But you know, it's too bad there's not a crowd to react to this. But uh, I wonder what they would be doing. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. What yeah, I'm I'm assuming that they would be a mix still. I'd assume he'd still get mixed reactions. Like the people that loved him originally still like him, and maybe the people that hated him are still hating him. I don't know. I wonder what the reaction is. It'll be interesting from you guys tonight in the chat and everywhere else to figure it out. Um, I think that Roman's stuff could maybe change, and if it does, it would change Friday. If it's not changed on Friday, then that this is it, man. He's Roman. He's got this new T-shirt. You know, he's got a new T-shirt to wear, and that's a lot of fun. Yay! Um, no more vests. I mean, at least for now, this show tonight was not very fun. Um, no, we have Nia Jax being a you know women's well, that, tag team champion. That raged you, huh? When she was like acting like a psycho oh, at the end. That was infuriating. Ah! And I, oh my god! I know you didn't hate it as much as I did, but I, I absolutely hated. That. I normally I hate hated her that with such a passion that it, that it made me want to just turn off the stream. Wow. Wow, that's I mean, how, that's how like I I can't stand her to begin with, and then when she does things that are that cringy and annoying, <laughs> I, it ruins any semblance of patience I have left. 
if you got, I'm going to be doing so much this week on this channel with wrestling news, inside stuff, and I'm even going to be talking about YouTube and going on rants about all these different things this week. So this is the week you want to hit that sub button down below. Subscribe. Don't forget the bell. And remember, if you're on Patreon, um, that is the best way to get alerts that I'm live because I put out an alert on Patreon that you get an email about uh, if you enable the, uh, you know, the what are they called? Uh, the third, the push notifications. Um, it, you want to you want to be on there for that um, because you'll get the notification that I'm live, whereas YouTube doesn't always notify you guys. And if you guys could do me a favor, I want to see that like button. And I want you to stuff the goddamn like button up my ass. We're going to talk about WWE Payback for a while here. We got lots of people calling in, so we're going to... Yeah, three new champions tonight, you know, three yeah. title changes. And then on top of it, no women's uh, title matches because both were obviously in the women's tag match. Right. And then we had no tag team titles being defended either, so everybody, no IC title. I, I want to hear from everybody tonight. What was, the, what was your favorite thing of the night? I want to know. Mine was yeah. the opening match. I I not sure even specifically I'm still trying to break it down what what like just hit me and resonated with me but I think because I had written that match off in my mind I honestly thought it would be on the kickoff show right instead of Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot defeating the Iconics and it was so much better than I think that match had any right to be I expected it to be very quick and right. for the most part we got we got like a 10 minute I don't want to say outright brawl but these two really you know, didn't leave a lot to be desired. I thought it was a really competitive, hard-fought match. I want to shout out Taylor P for becoming a subscriber. He just hit the sub button down below. Yo, Taylor, man, thumbs up to you. We've been doing this for uh, since 2012 on YouTube, live after every single WWE event. We're going to be live all week, so I hope you're here with us. And we got some spoily, not spoily stuff, but we got some crazy inside stuff coming up. WWE planning on uh, doing outside arenas, special shows. Um, with about 500 people, probably similar to AEW, what they do every week now. Um, so they're going to be bringing back the crowd, but only on pay-per-views. They're looking for a location. It, it appears WWE may have secured a location. So we're going to get we're any day this week. We're going to get that news about what location that is, where that is outside a beach, a little arena, an outdoor amphitheater, something. And it's going to be probably potentially where Clash of Champions may take place from. They may put the LED screens around for the virtual audience and have 300 to 500 people there. And they're going to mic those areas better than usual, so we're hearing that information. I have a big story about that coming out. I don't think a lot of people are covering that or are going to know about that. I'm telling you here first, I don't think anybody's talked about it. They're about to secure this location, um, and I'm getting good news on that. So that's that's really cool. I don't usually talk about stuff like that unless I know um, so it's I don't talk a lot about spoiler or, or the rumor this that and the other thing because it's always false or halfway. This is something that they are looking for for sure to secure, and obviously you know why. You know they usually monkey see monkey do with um, AEW, but we do got to give them credit for the Thunderdome stuff because AEW didn't do that, and WWE came up with that. And a lot of times we make fun of WWE for copying AEW, but with the uh, with the virtual audience and stuff, you know, and maybe people say they copy the NBA or whatever. Well, we had the idea back in March for them to do this, so it's not really a big deal. But they did do this first in wrestling, and so we should give them credit for that. But um, they are definitely looking to get that live audience, but it will only be maybe once every month or once every two months uh, from an outside location. So we're interested in that. Donos are popping in. Here comes, that's got to be Kane. God Almighty, it's Kane, and I'm donating. <laughs> this pay per view was honestly a botch fest. What the fuck was Keith Lee wearing? <laughs> Botcher Bully, the fat SJW pig, and Shane really made a lot of botches. Ugh. Big E needs to drop the New Day shit. What's the point of the Antifa gimmick again? Uh, Bimbo Baggins, I have no idea. At this point, maybe maybe it's something that's going to be unveiled later and make sense. Maybe it's something that won't make a damn bit of sense, Bimbo Baggins. Alexa Bliss was on screen for eight seconds tonight. That was weird. Then nothing came of that. Yeah, because after the fans, they're trying to listen to the fans, it seems, anyways. So after the fans complained so heavily that she wasn't involved in the SummerSlam angle, on SmackDown, they gave her that small little bit where she snapped um, right. Nikki Cross. And then now she's going to go ahead and have some type of role with the fiend. So yeah, I hope they have it's a not sex date. Abigail, but it's something romantic that they're trying to plan. 
I know that everybody in the chat wants to see the fiend fornicate with Alexa Bliss. I know that for a fact. Fornicate, all right? I want to see him use that mallet in dirty, dirty ways. Yes, put that mallet inside of her. I, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I don't know what Make that her into the next puppet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's so many bad things that I want to say. Uh, and I say them on Twitter at JCS Commentary. Shut up and bend over. Finish it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Don't finish it. Please don't finish it, bro. I'm going to finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bray Wyatt once again willingly took it in the ass. <laughs> Uh, New York Giants Frank 87 thank you for the $9.50 uh, donation listed down below thank you uh, for the Streamlabs donation New, Jer uh, New York Frank um, yeah um, so it was a, it was a weird mess man uh, it was it was a weird mess uh, approaching what was your favorite of the night because we haven't heard that yet I don't know man this is a tough one for me I don't know why I a lot of people said that it was Dominic and Ray taking on mm. Seth and Murphy, but I feel like we've seen no. that so many times. We basically just got the same match at SummerSlam, except tonight no. the interference turned into a tag match. It was and too now we're going to get Ray versus Seth tomorrow on Raw again. Oh my God! What what are they thinking, Joe? It, it, why it, why are they doing this to us? It's too predictable. So I can't say that that was my that was my favorite match of the night. Just no way. I would say that. It, it was. I can't believe I'm saying this. I really can't believe. I can't believe I'm saying this. But I thought either Bobby Lashley's match or the women's tag team match. I don't know why. I hate Nia Jax. Um, I don't know why. But Bailey and Sasha and Nia Jax and Baszler, for some friggin' reason, was entertaining to me. I was interested in it. It wasn't a bad match by any means. We'll we'll, we'll kind of cut to that now instead of going. I order. mean, good God, I can't. Believe I, I'm I don't saying think it. that that was a bad match, and the ending was really quite cool. I liked the way that Baszler went ahead and, and hit the double submission. Yeah, and then the ending was really that was, funny. That was really cool. She got the leg lock, and you know, and and then the Kirafuda clutch on Bailey, and the leg lock on Sasha, and she made Bailey tap out. So how do you how do you beat that? They gave him ten minutes. It was it was a pretty solid action-packed match they had a lot of good back and forth between each other and you know that face buster looked like uh naya was was eating oh god mat. i mean she naya she was hard. horrible though let me play uh naya's selling the leg injury i actually have the sound clip of it this oh, might god. be the most hilariously horrible sell i've ever listened oh, oh god naya knocking his belly to naya and not <laughs> Nia, Nia I goes saw you in the chat when that happened. <laughs> she, she hits the floor. Nia Jax hits the floor, and then Nia Jax grabs her leg, and she and like she like started writhing, but then like she forgot that to be audible. So she was holding her leg and rocking for a second. Then she went, "Oh yeah, I've got to yell," and she went, "Ah!" It was so <laughs> bad. Like, oh, oh god, ah! Nia knocked her in his belly. So Nia and not. Oh, oh god. Ah! <laughs> Sounds like doggy style led to accidental anal. That's what I get. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, Roman Reigns is back in the WWE and our ratings are back here on the Joe Cronin show. I've got to tell you, man, Roman Reigns comes Roman Reigns comes back to the WWE and we just broke the SummerSlam uh, view record. Yeah, see, from last a direct week. correlation with Roman. People want to see Roman back, that's for it, sure. You got to, I mean, you got to say it. Look at that, 27,000 views on this video since I started. Uh, SummerSlam, we got, I believe, 23,000 views in the entire thing by the end of the stream. So, I mean, Roman Reigns is equaling ratings. That's the one thing we can say. You can hate him, love him, whatever you think, but the guy is bringing on the ratings right now, and I'm feeling it. I can see it in the trends right now. It's still it's crazy. Yeah. Super chat. Did you watch the NJPW show Baseball Stadium Friday? So, Donnie Murdoch, the only thing I caught out of New Japan on that, unfortunately, were highlights and clips. It looked cool, and I think I do want to watch it because it looks kind of exciting. The wrestling was really it good. Does look, it does look good. I have yet to see it myself either. So They were selling and doing some real cool stuff, and sometimes I get sick of that in New Japan. Like It's like I get it. I don't want to. But I don't know. I, I was watching it, and it does look fun, and I and. Quite honestly, I wish I was commentating it and calling it because it looked like it was a. It would have been a blast to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you're gonna think it sucks. It not hair you. 
No builds to show and oh. it was good. What suck didn't he make sense? Lee be taught and to set up a feud for title where Norton beats Drew next PPV cause there is no faces for Orton wrestle. But that makes no Um, okay, so Patrick, uh, but that makes no sense, he said. Patrick, thank you, man, for the donation. I appreciate it. But you say, of course, we hate it because it's not AEW. No, I, I didn't like it because I thought it was boring. Like, but it made, I didn't say it didn't make any sense. I'm not ranting that it doesn't make sense. I'm not saying I've never said yeah, that tonight. It just was one of the wasn't. more logical nights. I see what they were going for. It was just I just boring. wouldn't have chose the people that they went with or how they went along with it. But yeah, it was it's, it, it's not a mind numbing booking night. Yeah, it just was boring, and you know they they, they progress some stories. They they're moving along some things. This is one of those shows that is the launching pad for new storylines. You know, for the yes, most part, yes. this so, is this will this will offer you know a whole slew of new stories, hopefully, and they'll wrap up whatever was left over from tonight this week on TV, and it'll lead to new stories for Clash of Champions, hopefully, which but seems like that's what's going to happen. It was all for Roman. We said this for years, and I'll say it a million oh, times oh, absolutely. tonight. absolutely. That was their intention he, tonight. Here, Roman, here's your very own payback show uh, where we're going to feature you, Roman Reigns, and do this whole thing for Roman Reigns. But can you deny them? Can you? How can you? I mean, you can't really argue it right now, I guess, because look I at the ratings. The ratings will be up, and you know, viewership numbers, demographic numbers, everything they want will probably be, you know, skyrocketing with the return of Roman. Robin Knight says, "No AJ Hardy, Oscar, or Mickey. F this pay per view." Um, yeah. I mean, every, no one's ever going to be fully happy, right, with the WWE no, stuff. No, they did leave a lot of names off. It felt like tonight. And that that's well, also I because mean, of the way that they had to handle a few scenarios because. I'm not enraged because we just no. had SummerSlam. Clearly, they wanted to do some of this at SummerSlam, but you know what I mean. Vince doesn't want to have the four or five hour show of SummerSlam, so part of this yeah, is... Yeah, now when there's not an audience to be had. So. Yeah, part of this is like, hey, listen, three hours. No more than three and a half hours. We don't want to do it with no audience. Not doing tonight, it. Tonight was, you know, they started... I mean, you get the pre-show at six, but really they started at seven. They were done before nine thirty. So yeah, I mean it was really short. I had to change the title on this video. Vic Ram uh, Sharma, thank you for subbing to the channel. Pour him a beer in the chat. Drink a beer for Sharma. We got all kinds of callers coming in. Let's take another phone call. Yeah, my bad. Here we go. Uh, real quickly with uh... you ridiculous piece of shit. No, not a ridiculous. Good caller. What's up, caller? How you doing? Hey, Joe Cronin. How you doing? I'm gonna be real quick with it. Okay. I just want to say that that um breaking the ring down thing was unnecessary. They could have left that out. It was a little bit overkill, uh, you know. But with make people pop. But you know, I I don't I appreciate that they're trying to do some crazy stuff, you know, to keep us kind of entertained. Because without that, there really wasn't much to it. Here comes Roman. He signs the contract late, does a heel thing, wins the match. That's it. So at least they gave you this little kind of like, holy shit, they broke the ring moment. And now we can have memes and gifs of uh, Charles Robinson doing head over tea kettle till the end of time. But uh, you're right, a little bit ridiculous. But you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bury him too much for it because. Uh, you know, at least it made me for a second go, what the hell? Like, you know, so whatever. Yeah. Does it, it kind of, it kind of, all right, man, you have a good night, brother. Uh, but and yes, I realized that ratings were tanking when Roman was on top beforehand. That That's not anything new, but distance makes the heart grow fonder with people. You know, when, when you don't have something, you miss it. Right. And that's exactly what it is. It's a new toy. Oh, we got Roman back. And especially the fact that he's a heel, you know, so not only do you have a new toy, but this toy is battery powered. <laughs> right. Like your wife's <laughs> like bigger and better. Yeah, it's just no, th um, no, no. That one plugs in. You gotta have a wall outlet for that. You don't want batteries to die, Joe. Oh yeah. Well, you were trying to cook her Three clam away from orgasm, and then you go ahead and you run out of double A's. That's a nightmare. You're really gonna cook your wife's clam, bro? You got to. Got to deep fry it. I mean, that's messed up. Oyster bar. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Here we go. I'm about to get Here we it, go. Man. Here we go. About to get it, man. Here we go. Elliot. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. This Roman heel run is going to be just as annoying as his face run. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's the goal. You know, they probably want to make him a little sniveling piece of crap, Elliot. If people didn't like CM Punk with Heyman or Brock with Heyman, then they're not going to enjoy the Roman and Heyman dynamic. Because I really? have a great feeling that they're going to go ahead and have him talk, you know, a good majority for Roman. Really? Even though Roman can talk, they're going to have him say less. I have a, just a great feeling that they're going to have Roman be more of the stoic, quiet type. 
Um, I'm sure he'll talk more than than Brock did, and obviously Punk still talked a great deal. So I think it'll be in between those two. You know, I think they'll talk. He'll, you know, I just think he'll talk a little less. You're right, and that's would be smart to do that. I think, but to have to have it go too far, I, I don't think it will go too far because CM Punk talked a lot still when he had, you know, Roman. So you know, yeah. or whatever Paul Heyman. So Heyman, yeah. So that's why I said I think it'll be in between the two. Is where Brock never spoke and. You know, Punk talked a lot. I think yeah. he'll be in the middle. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. We're going to find out, I guess. We're going to see what happens. Hit that like button down below, guys, and subscribe if you're new. We're having a gigantic subscription party here after WWE Payback, and we've got news and all kinds of crap. We're going to be live, of course, uh, after Monday Night Raw. Oh, no, here we go. I was a kid. I used to shove quarters up my asses when I was a oh, kid. Oh, no. Tommy, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was so strange, definitely. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you just say <laughs> that when you were a kid you used to shove quarters up your ass? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about as a kid. I put the quarters in me. My name is Tommy and Z. I put the quarters in me. Just shove quarters up my asses when I was a kid. This was the most predictable piece of trash show I ever watched. I wish I had bet money on this show. I haven't watched a PPV in forever, but this shit was predictable as fuck. On a side note, look out for me on the rant line this Friday. Peace, Joe. Oh man, Will Tactics, love to you, brother, and thank you for the twenty-five dollars. Uh, Venti Cinco. That is the largest donation of the stream so far, man. You got that belt right now, Will Tactics. Um, yeah, this was super predictable. We called just about everything about what happened, I think, tonight, you know. Um, because it was really just, a, again, it was, a, it was supposed to be that way. Here, we're going to do all these things. They all make sense in our heads. That's why it was so predictable. And the whole point is, Roman's back. Like, and that's, it's the whole thing's for Roman. It's all done for Roman. And that's the whole got? point. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want some it. bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's One. Ref flying hilarious like Macho Man when Yokozuna kicked out. Two. <laughs> Imagine when Fiend did the claw Roman's new teeth came out. Three. Thank God Keith wasn't basking in his skirt. Three. I was surprised how easily Keith won after Edge could. Yeah, um, that's a great point. But, you know, they, I think they really had to put, they felt they had to put Keith Lee over because how goofy he was. They wanted to say screw you to, to all the fans that were, oh, I'm worried about him. Yeah, and, you know, the example that I kept giving was Matt Riddle came up to the WWE like, I'm Matt Riddle, what's up? I'm high as hell. By the way, Matt Riddle was high as hell tonight. Dude dude couldn't even keep his eyes open during the <laughs> promo tonight. This is Matt Riddle. He legit, you can go watch it. This isn't just a still, like a funny still of a guy who happened to be blinking when I took the still. <laughs> Half this of the him. promo. Yeah, this the promo looked like this. He was like, well, I'm going to go out, man, and I'm going to like do crazy things like cheat on my wife. And oh, man, whoa. Like, dude, none of these people are ever going to get over. Like, this is the I mean, listen, I like Riddle. I like him. I like Keith Lee and I like Riddle. But nobody's ever going to become a megastar in this company right now. Not when they're talking like that. Not when you're I like... Mean, he's, he's an imitation RVD, and Keith Lee, I don't even know at this point in Keith time. Keith Lee keeps going... Hmm. Rubbing his chin. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of decisions to make. He's got mm -hmm. things to ponder, you know? It's just <laughs> weird. He keeps like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm Keith Lee. I do weird mm -hmm faces. Keith Lee looks like a guy who won the lottery 10 years ago and doesn't care about life anymore because he's so rich or something. Like I'm like, does he own like a fortune that I don't know about? Because he always just looks so happy and inquisitive, though. Like he doesn't really understand words or something. And then Matt Riddle is high, like, whoa, man, like I went out there. But yeah, Matt, Matt Riddle debuts against AJ Styles, and everybody's like, wow, Matt Riddle's here. And then AJ Styles wins. So AJ Styles puts him on the map by having a great match with him, but Matt Riddle doesn't win. So tonight it felt like, well, you know, Randy Orton, Keith Lee, they have a really good match, and then Keith Lee doesn't quite win, but he's on the map. Uh, but no, they gave Keith Lee the shock win to try to help him because I think he needed it after what we saw. But man, I don't know 
what's going he on? It, but but that was a crap match. It was I'm a sorry, bad match. Was, it didn't feel it real. A, it felt like it was they, six minutes long. It was super slow plotting, boring pace that Orton usually pulls out. And then all of a sudden, you know, he's doing the pose for the, all the the Thunderdome people. And then he goes for the RKO. Right. And we get that huge uh, power bomb, spirit bomb, and that was it. Yeah. Six minutes. It looked like okay, must put over Keith. Like it didn't yeah, seem it was authentic. as close to a squash as you could get when using Randy Orton. I I just I I feel like it's like I hate to do this. I feel like I'm like always bashing Keith, and I I loved him before, but I can't help it, guys. I don't feel good about it. Like I now I just think like okay, like big big awesome black guy who can kick ass. I'd rather look at Big E now. Now I'm like oh, Big E, like let him do it. But, but how does this make sense, or how does this make him get over or look good? I, that's that's what I'm failing to grasp. I, I don't here. know what they're doing. Are they trying to make him look foolish? They have him come out looking like he's on the Broadway show for The Lion King with this, you know, grass skirt that he's walking with. And okay, so he's got the shorts on again. That's good. The music is awful. Okay, but I'm like, all right, let's see him wrestle. Let's see him. That that's what we're here for. The wrestling, you know. And, and as much as they only had a week to to sell this pay per view and give you stories, sometimes we get these shows where they're like this. They have a very bad booking or build up, but the shows are good. And that's what I was hoping for tonight. And they did not deliver. These matches were not good. Most of them were very cut and dry, quick. And things we've seen so many times before, it's it's nauseating. Right. I, I mean, it was literally all of a rest hold, pretty much, for the Keith Lee match with Orton. And then you get a, a quick DDT, they go for the RKO, and it was over. Six minutes, done. Like I said, as close to a squash as you're going to get. But It was very slow, though, at the beginning. It was just a slow match. Extremely slow. The Mysterio match after that was everything we saw at SummerSlam and on Raw so many times. There was nothing new here. There was not one moment, move, uh, you know, nothing that we had not already seen them do before. No ingenuity, no, nothing fresh. Yeah, nothing. nothing. We, and we called it. We knew that Buddy was going to be the one to get pinned because this elite right. between now we'll see Seth and Buddy have their feud just like Bailey and Sasha are going to have their feud. By the way, this I mentioned this before their other match. <laughs> like, like... Yes, that yes. was predicted before their other match. We had the whole thing mapped out before they even had their first match. Like, oh man, he's gonna lose, and then they're gonna have a tag team, and then then they'll get the win after. Yep, because they can get, which is smart. That's fine. Like, I mean, I would have done the same thing. So it's not that ridiculous. But at least the match could have been produced differently, so it wasn't the exact same thing we had already witnessed seven days ago. They went with the safe match. I was bored by it because I already have seen them enough. Now, now I'm done with it. At least so, Dominic didn't have the hood. They got rid of his hood. So they got rid of his good. hood. It was just dangerous. Him. It was annoying and dangerous. I said when I first saw it, I'm like, he's going to get rid of that hood because that that's going to be so annoying, dude. I tried a hood, too, back when I wrestled. Uh, I had a sweatshirt on in, in a match, and it kept doing that, and I was like, oh, my God, I took it off. You don't never do that. Never, ever. It's You could tell. I mean, right when you saw it. Like, is that going to come off? If that doesn't come off, it's going to annoy him. It's Give it a hell yeah! People have been crying for years for a Roman heel turn. Right. Now it has happened and people are still complaining. Also, Roman already has heel tendencies as a baby face. Right. So there isn't much to change. TJ, it's true. I mean, it really is kind of true. They added Heyman and, you know, so and he's already kind of like that. So it's it, you're right. I mean, you really are right. I don't think I've seen enough of Roman yet of what they're doing here. For me to get fully pissed or or be happy or either way, you know, I really don't think either one has has got me yet. So I, I don't know yet how I feel. So, uh, Chandraville Elagulam, thank you very much for subbing to the channel, man. I think I just butchered your name. That may be the the toughest name my uh, name we read all night, at least for me, my stupid ass. Uh, shout out to Beersy in the chat. What up, Beersy? Ronan Hustler, thanks for subbing to the channel, man. Pour him a beer in the chat, and everybody stroke him in the chat. Stroke Ronan in the chat, everybody. He's almost got my last name, so let's all stroke him in the chat. By the way, 41,000 playbacks on this video tonight. Roman Reigns is a gold mine. Yeah, see, people missed him. That's Good for sure. God. Super you know chat party. Vince just gave us a house show on TV, kill me.
Right. I mean, yeah. But also, I said it felt like a SmackDown, really. But it was a. It was more because they. It's not true though, Spaz, because they gave progression. Belts changed. So yeah, what belts this can change was, on TV, not on house shows. You know, usually. So it was a setup show. This is a setup show, a change of direction show, a new. But beginning. I see what Spaz is saying. I yeah. get what he's getting at. Didn't like it. I didn't really. I was not that entertained tonight. But to me, this was better tonight than SmackDown or Raw. So. You know, I usually give Raw and SmackDown a three or four out of ten. I'd give this pay per view tonight maybe a five uh, or something. Like, I mean, it was something to watch. Four or five. It was better than Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, I mean, we have Big E and Sheamus. That match, I I enjoyed it. It was all right. Was, I mean, they just put over Big E. It wasn't anything. I I'd give it maybe a five point five or a six a overall. Subscriber. Raid Riot, thanks for the uh, subscription. What's up? I thought it had some some better set moments, but. I like the story that they're trying to tell with Biggie. I just wish that they would really separate him from the New Day, as others had said. I want to see him establish his own identity and not just have to carry the, the members of the group that aren't there with him. Yeah, it'd be nice if he could do more than that. M. Pat, thanks for uh, subbing to the channel. What's going on? Good to hear from you, and thank you very much for being here. By the way, uh, VXS Wrestling on Twitter. Go look them up in New York. They're going to be putting on another show after their No Justice, No Peace uh, pay-per-view uh, on fight that was a crazy weird debacle. Super but. chat party. So what was the point of cutting to bliss over and over? Where's this new Finn family we've been hearing about? Where was retribution? I could drop the more entertaining chunk in the bowl. Well, let's hope that Spaz, let's hope Spaz Phoenix that maybe Alexa Bliss and the Fiend will be partnered and they'll have some kind of weird demonic synergy and they'll go on to cutting, they'll go on to the Fiend basically like having rivalries with people. Especially if the Fiend is going to be their one of their top faces because yeah, Braun's essentially a heel, Roman's definitely a heel. They don't you know so the Fiend and Bray are going to be their top faces. Yeah, and I think so. That, they're going to have to do something interesting with Alexa. I'd like to see the Fiend be in sort of a mid card, like a, a little above, like what a Gold Dust or Mankind would be, and let him wreak havoc with people and have these matches with people, but not be in the championship match. Because the more the Fiend is in the championship matches, it just feels that they end up watering him down. Give him his own matches where he can really shine a little bit better, and that's really what he needs. So, and maybe the Alexa storyline will help with that. Shout out to the $25 producers on Patreon, too, right here. Um, they also we, said GHP Network was the most recent one in the chat to say. He says, all they're doing is setting up Roman versus Brock's third WrestleMania match. And I had said that to a friend of mine on Saturday you know, oh, after no. we saw the Heyman announcement. It seems like eventually they'll have you know, Brock come back and they'll, you know, they'll fight over Heyman. Essentially. I could picture them doing something like that. where, like, you know, Heyman says you've been replaced. This is the new, uh, conqueror, the new beast. And you've been your old news. And then they have a big fight. And I could picture making Brock the face since they'll really want to make Roman the heel. It also strongly looks like to me that the fiend is about to get a win at the expense of Goldberg. So it's looking like potentially... Yeah, the, for next year. Well, I don't know when, but The Fiend and Goldberg may lock up soon. I mean soon. You think it'll be sooner? Because everything that's been said so far is that Goldberg, he's finished all his dates this year, doesn't want to do any more until next year. I don't know, man. I think it's going to be in, I think it's going to be kind of soon. I don't. Well, maybe Yeah. Uh, maybe the next... In, I would say... Possible. They can force him in his contract, I'm, I'm sure. No, they, they, uh, they wouldn't. I don't think they'd force him, but if he wanted to do it, maybe in the next... Well encourage him forcefully <laughs> maybe in the next form i would have thought in the ne i was thinking the next two months but if you're saying that maybe it won't be soon but i mean i would i would want to get the fiend to uh i don't even care about that i don't care about goldberg coming or going i'm done with goldberg. i have no interest in goldberg coming back even if the fiend beats him mercilessly i i, I it does nothing for I me. I don't have anything about Brock either anymore. I don't care. I don't care if Brock came back and shockingly won or or lost it to somebody. I am the Brock thing is now over. I, they they did that so much that it's now over for me. And yeah, it, they they went to that well too many times. It's dry. Yeah, it's over for me. And so that they're both gone. Goldberg and Brock. I don't care. They can come back all they want. Have a million matches with a million whatever the hell. I don't care about it. So, no thanks. Hopefully, hopefully they don't do that. Then we had Matt Riddle 
taking on King Corbin. I know we talked about Riddle being high as hell, but we didn't talk about the match. <laughs> uh, match was just shy of 11 minutes long, and it was okay. I mean, the problem is, is we've seen them fight in, in one shape or form multiple times now, and it, it was just more of the same. They didn't do anything here that was innovative or new or fresh. Nothing that I, I haven't seen these two, you know, it ended with the floating bro. Again, that's it. So more of the same. I was really hoping for them to try and push the envelope and go a bit above and beyond since they didn't have a story to rely on. I was hoping they would rely on the physicality and the matchmaking itself. It was just a feature, a match for Riddle. I mean, it was a showcase match for Riddle. That's all it was. Um, I thought yeah, he, I thought he just, was... Well, well, the story, kind of, but I mean, this story has been the first real story of his past AJ Styles, so... I Why, why not have, King you know... Corbin's trying to take him out with the King's Ransom still and... You know, I would have had, um, I don't know, man. I, w I would think about, like, the Macho Man when he did the King gimmick, like hitting the warrior in the face with the scepter. Like, something like that. You you want something kind of crazy to happen, maybe. You know, um, but I, I guess there really wasn't much to do about it. So, you know, whatever. They the only good thing it seemed like was Riddle said, oh, I'm going to be going on to greener pastures. You know, I'm I'm moving away from... Baron Corbin, and then all of a sudden Baron Corbin attacked him. So we're stuck with the same crap going forward. Yeah. This is going to be, you know, at least until Clash of Champions. Was he carried, was Corbin carried out by the crowd, the people with the, the King's men or whatever? No. On the, on the, on the chariot thing, was he carried out? He came out no. on the thing, on the, on the, on the, whatever, on the thing the guys carry, right? Didn't he? I, I thought he just walked out tonight, but I could be crazy. Somebody in the chat told me if he did. I think he was carried out by those people. I think you're right. I think he was carried to the ring on his throne. You know what? Um, I, 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 my memory sucks because I didn't put Matt, my Matt notes, Riddle should have, uh, when he won. I'm Matt, pretty sure you're right with him getting carried to the throne. Yeah, he did, Lorenzo yeah. said. Matt so. Riddle okay. should have put, he should have put Corbin's crown on and then got on it and then made them carry him back and he danced. Yeah, carry danced, him out since he won. That and danced on it. I think that had been funny. And he like just mocked Corbin like on the thing. I think that would be that would have been entertaining. I don't know, just stupid. It's a stupid little thing, but I just that's a done. Yes, thank you, Abel. Uh, real quick phone call three four seven. Hello. So what up, Jay Cronin? What up? It's Jay Hood. Bro, what's Jay up, Hood. Jay Hood? Oh my God, you want to bat rattle me? Uh huh. You want to bat rattle me? What's up, Jay Hood? How you doing? Hey, yo, what's good, man? What's good, man? I don't like Woman Rain, man, to tell you the truth, man. No? I don't like that heel turn, nah, man. Hey, yo, but Jay Cronin, man, you the man, man. I got to respect you, but I got to tell you this, man. I'm the motherfucking best in this shit. You know me? I want to back rattle you anytime you want to fucking do this shit, nigga. You ain't ready for me, nigga. I'll smack you with my Eminem peanut, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm the best in this shit. Tell your crowd I'm the best in this shit. Nigga, you can't beat me one on one, nigga. I'll uh. fuck your wife with my condom, smack you, take it out my dick, and put it in your ass, and fuck you with the right Dude. condom, nigga. Did he write rap? And did he rhyme anything, J Hood? What are you doing? Did you rhyme anything, rhyme. dude? It's spoken word. Give me your black card back, J Hood. What the hell was that? You doing Tommy's spoken word? Pyroclastic flow there. What the hell was that, J Hood? Stick him, Joe. You better listen. You better listen, Jay Hood. Get him. I'm a rape. Said I'm a rape. Said I'm a rape. Oh, yeah. Said I'm a rape. I'ma rape your mom with my calm I'm gonna stick it inside of a bomb Give her some fucking under the sun Slap her in the face and erase her race I'm gonna come inside an asshole and fuck up a place Put a noose around her neck, then cut off her breast I'm gonna put my fucking penis in the ass and take a dress And put it on a hooker, call her your mom And slap that bitch and kill her too I'm gonna slap your whole family and slap you Jay Hood, give me your black card back Your nutsack, your whack, I hope you die your dad back Break it, I'm gonna erase the hatred I got a gun and I'm coming for fun, son I'm gonna shoot everyone under the sun Just like I did to your mom And now I'm coming for your uncle too Your Uncle Tom fucking Jew Yo, fuck you, Jay Hood, suck my dick You know it's thick and yours is a small little prick Your damn wife was a dyke and now she scissors and breasts 
with the sister at night, you dumb motherfucker. I put your pubic hair on my face to scare little kids at Halloween. Then mace people all over New York City. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, J Hood just got burned by Joe Cronin's show. Suck my dick, his whole family is hoes. I don't know. Anyway, what the fuck, Jay Hood? What was that, bro? I'm gonna bat, rama, bat rattle you, and he fucking just goes, and just drop n bombs all he did. Jay Hood, don't ever call again, you idiot. Um, Jake Demarco, what else we got? Uh, after that match, we have Sasha Banks and <laughs> Bailey oh, taking fuck. on Baszler and Nia Jax. And like you said, wasn't a bad match. I hate the inclusion and involvement of Nia Jax, but the other three did a pretty damn good job for the most part. I'll give them a ton of credit. And as we discussed this a little bit before, uh, probably my favorite part was seeing Nia just eat the entire mat with the face buster. That was hilarious. It was not anti-Semitism. Jay Hood is black and he's Jewish. So he's a black Jew. I'm an Irish you man. You roasted him so bad, now he's deep fried. I'm... <laughs> oh, yeah! We're not done. <laughs> You gon' suck on my piss. I wish I had some more to diss, but no one knows who you is. I'm sorry. All right, let's let's just. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm joking around. Jay Hood, you piece of shit, made me do that. Um, so tomorrow night on Raw. Well, yeah, we're getting Rey Mysterio taking on Seth Rollins, and we'll obviously see. Uh, you know the the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. They'll have some type of. You know, I, I wonder who's going to face them next. I have a feeling it's going to be the Riot Squad. For some reason, I think the Riot Squad <sighs> is going to be the next challengers for those two. Yeah, the with the two of them, right? Because what's her face is yeah, gone, right? Because Liv Morgan. Yeah, um, I always forget her name. She now. got Sarah. Uh, Sarah, Sarah we Logan. don't even know her name. That's why, dude. Sarah Logan's gone. We don't Sarah know her Logan. name. Oh yeah, my sadly, god! Sadly, they they replaced her with Bianca Belair. So. Bianca She's Belair. All set now. <laughs> they have the new riots. I love you, Bianca. That's right. Bianca Belair is there. I love you, Bianca Belair. Even though you blocked me on Twitter, I love you, Bianca. I love you. Well, still, Teardrop like goes, we don't, cl- we don't claim Jay Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how cringy it is to have to watch me sit here and try to rap when I'm, I don't know shit about rapping Jay Hood? But you're that bad, dude. You're that bad. Come on. Um,. So, yeah, no, I like any more Bianca we can get. But I want to see Bianca, man. Like, I want to see her, like, get into these single battles and, like, start wrestling these single matches and things like that. I don't want to see Bianca Belair just every week have to team with people and stuff like that. It's like, what is that? I want to yeah, see... Yeah, need to be showcased. Yeah, I want to see her in matches and shit. And she doesn't have to win all her matches, but I want to see her win, like, 75% of the time. You would think. But, uh... You would hope. I don't know. She's pregnant? What, Kieran? Who's pregnant? Kieran, who's pregnant? Who's preggers? Oh, Sarah Logan's preggers. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. I had heard that, but I wasn't sure if that was correct. Who's her? Who's she with? She's with somebody in the WWE. I forget. 15 more likes, still 400. Nice, man. We're on our way. We got donations popping in here. We're going to play them right now. I know I got a lot of them lined up. We want to hear what you guys have to say. The link is down below. Streamlabs, all that other stuff if you want to hang on party. Or you can do a super chat if you want to do that. That's cool, too. Uh, Eric from Eric. the Viking Raiders. Oh, Eric from Eric the... Oh, okay, right, okay. I couldn't think of who the hell it was at first. Curtis Zoe, thank you for subbing to the channel. Well, that's not enough money for her to, you know, retire off of. So they, you know, she might have to, I don't know, dude. But they let her go anyway. So that's awkward. What else yeah, we got? Absolutely. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> Instead of kicking the fiend in the balls to get out of the mandible claw, he should have used those big donkey teeth to bite Bray's hand to get him out. <laughs> Joe, you see you got way over, over a thousand people on the stream tonight. 69 in the chat. Admission tickets. Thank you, Deftones. Shout out to you, Deftones. Yeah, man, we had like old school numbers tonight on the show. Uh, and I think a lot of that was the return of Roman Reigns. Or even he was already returned, but it was just the idea of what happened. So no doubt about that. That's pretty epic. Let's go to a quick phone call again. Maybe they can save us from the Jay Hood call that just happened. 203, what's up? What up, yo? Long time no speak, dude. And no homo, Jake DeMarco. You look good. Ooh. Thanks, baby. He said thanks, man. He can't hear Jake, but he said thanks. All right, word, word. But, yeah, no, nah, other than that, man, hear your guys bullshitting about payback. I wanted to bullshit about, uh, yo, I don't know if it's a taboo topic, but what, yo, what the fuck happened to Scampoli? What do you mean? Why would happen to him? 
He's Yo, no longer on YouTube. The channel disappeared, bro. What? He's really? only on Twitch now. From channel where gone. Removed. What the hell? I mean, he raided me the other night, but I, is this new, like, within a day or so? Or? Uh, a couple weeks I, now, I think he's like moved few, everything like, to Twitch. It's been, like, two weeks, and, like, there's a channel just re-uploading his shit, so I don't really? know. I have no idea. That is, what the fuck? I don't know, man. I'll have to hit him up. I'll have to ask him what's going on. I'll look into that. That's crazy. The fuck? Moved everything to Twitch last I had heard and seen. So. Oh, wow. What the, what the hell is going on? Oh. Super chat. I'll have to look that up. Party. I'll have to hit him up. Spaz. Trash and bruh so bad they got me cheering near Jax. Are you serious, bro? The finish by Basler was great. I wish she had just won a handicap match. Uh, you, I hate those, though. You know, if she had done that. I, I liked it because it felt like it was kind of out of nowhere. Spaz, it, it kind of felt like it was a little bit authentic that she was putting them in those moves. Like, she was deciding on the fly, fuck, oh, now I'll do this. And so, like, I liked it, so I'm glad. It, if it was a triple threat, it would have seemed goofy. They too, they put her over too much, you know what I mean? So it felt kind of authentic to me, so I liked it for that reason. Sometimes I hate when you see a person do a double thing like that, and it seems bullshit. I bought it, and so I did like it, so... You know, um, hey, I, I don't know, man. I'm surprised too, man. That was one of my favorite matches, if not the favorite match of the night, which is surprising to me because those women a lot of times are enraging. But they, subscriber. I don't know, man. They had me tonight, bro. Greg Donald, thank you for uh, subbing to the channel, Greg. Much appreciated it. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, appreciative? Appreciative? Appreciative. Greg Donald, thank you, man. Uh, maybe Sammy Guevara's people got to him. Maybe Sammy Guevara was mad. You know, but Sammy Guevara is still on YouTube. So why is Sammy Guevara still on YouTube? You've got a new I am yeah, right? the one da da. Thank you for uh, subbing. I think he just got tired of it and tired he probably of doing did. all the YouTube stuff. Probably. I don't know for sure. That's a guess, but yeah, I know he's still going on Twitch. So, well, Twitch is more strict than YouTube. I know that's the funny part. But if you so. fly under the radar, you can you can fly under the radar. A new subscriber. I had no idea, Mister Polk podcast mr pock mr pock podcast thanks for subbing to the channel new subscriber how do you feel about the update to drew mcintyre's health they said that he has a, a, a hairline jaw fracture as the result of the punt kicks from randy orton so it was it wasn't in a head a little injury? bit of the bubbly want some bubbly a little bit of the bubbly bubbly roman was mad bray touched new teeth yeah he did he looked mad that his new teeth were touched uh he kept spitting Irvin like Stalker hair in his mouth. Yeah. Stalker, you got it with the three bucks, man. Thanks for the bubbly, brother. It was pretty funny. He kept, you know, spitting and, and trying to like, you know, pull at his tongue like it was disgusting. Well, he got his COVID. He, sold that well. he got COVID on his teeth. Yeah, right. So um I'm I'm not thrilled with this because I mean, if this was a serious injury, this this would be something that takes him out for quite some time. Right. And that's the problem. When you when you give someone a fake injury that you're supposed to believe in kayfabe is real, make it something that, all right, if he comes back to Clash of Champions, party. Yeah, they should have made it more believable. Sup, Joe, it's been a while. It's great to have the big dog Roman Reigns as the top guy again. Psych. <laughs> Man more, thanks for the $4.99. The big dog is back. In world wrestling entertainment. Uh, but yeah, you know, we'll see what they do with him. They, they did this all for Roman, like they've been doing everything else when he was here. So we're going to find out how many storylines are going to be rewritten, how many characters will be blocked, how many ideas will be blocked because of Roman. We know they blocked so many good ideas in the past because of Roman. That's why I don't like it. Because we know how many times people said I had a great idea, but then they said Roman might be doing something like that, so then I couldn't do it and... Oh, I couldn't overshadow Roman no matter what. So the bar is lowered way down. So that is, you know, it's people aren't allowed to flourish, Wade Barrett. Yeah. Because, oh. Oh, no, it's turkey time. What if the turkey's a it's, a, it's a freaking turkey. What if they played us? What if they killed us? What if the turkeys ate us? And ate our children. What if the turkeys ate us? What if they belayed us? If the turkeys ate us, if they had to hate us, the Thanksgiving was a little bit different. Instead, the turkeys ate us. They gobbled us apart. 
But first they eat our nuts And then they eat a bus The turkeys ate us What if, what if What if the turkeys ate us Look at all those goddamn fucking turkeys in the chat What if the turkeys ate us Boom Tactics is about to lose his what belt. If they ate a fucking nut? The sound wave 92. What if the turkeys ate us instead of mashed potatoes? Instead, the turkeys ate us. Payback 2020 should be renamed. Please make Roman look really strong. Smiley face. I liked the double finish for the women's tag match I thought that made Basler look great till Nia ruined it. The Mysterio Rollins tag matches are starting to be repetitive. Oh, they I don't know if they're starting. I think it's been that way for a while now. But um They've this, been so repetitive. Thank you, Soundwave. Soundwave is now the new top donator and the JCS digital champion of Payback. Because all we've seen so far, it feels like, with the Monday Night Messiah is him and Rey Mysterio. Even when he went to, you know, kind of change up the feud a little bit, it still went back to him and Rey. And that that's pretty much what I feel like. He had a heel turn, he fought with uh, Kevin Owens, and then he went right to Rey Mysterio, and that's been it. And I feel like it's been him and Rey since Mania. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time with this feud. Months and months and months now, and it just doesn't feel like it's escalating either no i I mean where do you go after you rip a guy's eye out or whatever it was exactly they they jumped the shark with that so i don't even know you know i i think it would have been fine if nobody had had their eyeball ripped out and it was just you know the guy was gushing blood everywhere and it was crazy but they already did that i don't know it was i guess it kind of worked in a way because by the time dominic had his match I don't know. It was ridiculous. It really was. It maybe it could, probably could have worked out without that as well, I suppose. You know, like what if you never had the eye ripped out thing? But they always you always got to make Roman look strong. You know what I mean? Like it goes back to six years ago with the song I made or whatever, five years ago, four years. Um, it's always about making Roman uh, look strong. You know, it's yeah. always. And then they also said for uh, Clash of Champions, they said streaming live September 20th, and then they said the 27th as well. So really? I think I think it's the 20th, but they messed up during one of their graphics and changed it. So I think it's the 20th. Oh, for Clash of Champions? Yeah, because they said the 20th, and then they said the 27th. Really? Well, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, well, wow, okay. Uh, let me go back to the donos, man. What else we got? What's up? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Easy oh, E, what up? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's that was best of brawn slash Bray matches. After Alexa appearance, I hoped she would come out but end up screwing them both for Roman. Imagine how mad the internet would be if Roman made out with Alexa cause she played the fiend and brawn. Oh my God! And Alexa was with Roman Reigns. <laughs> that would have gotten some heat. Easy E. That it's almost so funny. I might have done it because <laughs> it would have pissed everybody off. What? Like it would have. Oh my God! And then Alexa, Paul Heyman, and Roman are all together. That'd be weird. That'd be so weird. But and on a side note, really quick, it, it says here the twenty seventh, yeah. but other tweets show the twentieth with a graphic. So. Okay. I think it's the 27th, but to be announced? <laughs> Nobody knows, man, because I see it. Every, it looks like I've, it's the 27th, but a few people in the chat saw the 20th. Andale even, Pizzi did. And even the people don't know. It's 50-50. So this, Ringside that's, News says the 20th, and uh, CBS says the 27th. So so no matter what, the, the here's the here's the bottom line, is the fans right now are confused. They don't know. So somebody's got to fix something. Because whether whether somebody's like, duh, you idiots, it's the 27th. Well, whatever. Half the people think it's the other thing. So <laughs> there's obviously some kind of discrepancy. And I guess I would default to um, whoever the other... What was it? CBS? I'd go to CBS over yeah, Ringside over News, ringside. right? So Yeah, I'm just saying, though. You know, the first Super up, Chat Party! 2 slash 10 Cora, 4 slash 10 Dan and Dave. 
great review tonight. Dan and Cora, thank you for the dollar ninety nine. What up? Thanks for being producers on the twenty five dollar Patreon tier. Thirty hours of of podcasting and different shows on my Patreon. Thirty hours a month. Nobody else does that on their Patreons. It's crazy. The amount of shows and different shows and things we do on Patreon. Uncensored. Not on YouTube. I produce 40-something hours of content a week on YouTube. It's insane. Become a producer if you want to support the show and get all that bonus content on uh, Patreon. Shout out to these $25 producers and above. And Sith Negan, who's in the 100-something dollar category, which is crazy. That's the, the biggest patron. And you guys keep my show going with all these uh, donos and, of course, the uh, the Patreon. So. <laughs> Wikipedia Mama has both these. There he is. He's here. Oh, my God. It's breaking Oz. Superman punch in my rectum. Give me that Superman punch in my rectum. I don't care if this goes up my asshole. Sup Joe and Jake Ho Paul as well. I decided to watch WWE for the first time in a while and quite frankly was bored. Wow. Probably gonna give payback three. Five tenths. Wow. Uh three and a half out of ten, breaking uh breaking Oz ninety six. Good to hear from you. Yeah, you haven't been around in a while, so you definitely haven't been watching wrestling. Man, but this is the show that you come back to. That's crazy because I mean, this was not a show to really come back to. I feel like it was—it was a setup. Yeah, come back. It's like you haven't missed anything. <laughs> oh my God! I love Seth Rollins. Yeah. Charles Robinson oversold the fuck out of the ring breaking. <laughs> he couldn't even get out of the ring fucking hilarious. <laughs> also, I took in the bullfrog diet. I have chocolate bars in my fridge alone with a gallon full of fudge. Oh, God. Fuck you, bullfrog. Fetus. Rest in peace to the bullet Bob Armstrong. I can't say it enough, by the way. And Malibu Al. Yeah, absolutely. Malibu Al, thank you for the $25, man. Malibu Al coming in strong and hard. Like Roman Reigns in a backyard, but where is uh, I? I can't believe I haven't been tagged in a GIF yet of uh, Robinson going out of the ring. Somebody, I know, I was waiting for that to come where, over on Twitter. What, yeah, where the hell is that? I'm looking for it everywhere. Where's the GIF? Because I, I should have put it up. Now that I think about it, I should have put it up. But uh, yeah, no one's GIF that yet. I'm looking for it. I'm I'm scrolling through all of Twitter right now. I don't see it any. I can't believe it. Where is Robinson falling out of the goddamn ring? Someone retweeted to me. Oh, here. Oh, this might be it. Oh, here we go. I found it. Oh, WWE tweeted it out. Yeah, I just found it from WWE. There he goes. So boom. Was... And he goes, oh, oh, my God. And then he oh, he kind of rolls over. The, oh, that. <laughs> yeah, he like flips over the top. No, I thought it was great because he you can't roll fall out of the ring that way. The rope was gone. So he had to yeah. he had to fall first down and then roll himself over it. Oh, my God. That's pretty funny. I, I hate Robinson, though. <laughs> but that's funny. He is the top senior ref now in WWE now that uh, Mike Kyoto is gone, which I think is ridiculous because Kyoto is great. It's um, just funny because his his right arm goes down to where the second rope is, and he doesn't know where to go. And he doesn't have enough momentum to get himself up and over, so he's got to throw his right arm over the ropes and then push himself back to go up and over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, whatever. I laughed at it when it happened. I'll tell you that. I was cracking up. It was, and and that's it was more of a comedy thing than. Like the last time they broke the ring, we kind of went, "Oh my god!" Like, holy shit! And yeah, J it was Jack Big Cohen, Show and Braun, right? I believe was the last time, right? And Cohen or Cohen, he, he kind of like he way he fell out of the ring was crazy. Like it felt like yeah. real. Like like he got hurt maybe. He bounced up and out. Yeah, it was wild. And but this was more like funny. Like first I started laughing because I was like, "Oh my god!" They actually did this. And then when I saw Robinson go fucking whoop over the top, I started laughing hysterically. So. You know, it wasn't the last time I went, holy shit. And this time I went, <laughs> so <laughs> it's whatever. But either way, entertainment. So entertainment. Well, how, how do you feel about them starting the match without Roman and doing all that without him? I It was kind of annoying. And what if what if somebody won before Roman got there? Because it was only a 12 minute match. 
Yeah, I see think... my my thought at one point until Roman came out and signed the contract. I even made a joke of it in the chat, but I said, watch Roman go ahead and say, Oh, I never signed the contract. So like Braun would win or the Fiend would win and the match would be null and void and then he'd go in. Like that was my thought. I'm glad they didn't do that because that was so stupid. It wasn't what I wanted, it's just what I was thinking. How ridiculous can they get? So glad it didn't go that bad. Yeah, I I just don't I don't know how I felt. I think at first I was kind of annoyed, but that's the whole point is to annoy you and he's a heel and you know, I know, but like the same thing with Nia, that really frustrated me, but the Roman thing didn't frustrate me. But also the match would it you know, so they're gonna start the match without his signature. It just felt a little it wasn't but you know what though? We we gave crap to AEW about their signature thing because that was worse. This was yeah. le- for some reason this was more realistic than the AEW thing. The AEW like all of a sudden oh you didn't check page seventeen like that was really bad to me. So like the people that say we don't you know I would I would give WWE better credit on this, but it's similar to where it's like eh but you can get away with this more because it's wrestling so whatever. And AEW same thing but it was a little more reach and brought me out of it and Moxley is just a mess of a champion I feel like but whatever that's. That's just me, man. I don't know. But uh, I don't know why. What is this about? Reports that... Um, what, is th- what, is, what does this mean? Oh, oh, okay, I see. D. Walsh was sending me baseball stuff, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Oh, fuck, fuck that. I don't care about baseball right now. I hope the, <laughs> Red, I hope the Red Sox quit in the season. Ends. Well, they kind of did already, so like, it's not... Uh, it seems like they already gave up, so... Screw baseball. Yeah. Joseph, thanks for subbing, man. What's up? I'd, I'd probably give tonight a 5.5. I could even see giving it a 5. 5.5 from Jake. I yeah, don't know it was where you're at, but. Probably 5 or f- probably 5. five, yeah, five that, out that of 10. I mean, I know they didn't what have hardly any time oh, to build. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Have <laughs> better matches. You act like Roman is Kurt Hawkins or something. Of course, the show for him, the guy, the top star they have. Just like shoes used to be for John Cena, at least they are trying Roman as a heel like they never did Cena. Yeah, I agree. That's a good thing, Ricky, uh, Rick87, no doubt about it. But my point is they've always done all these ridiculous things for Roman. They've cut other superstars, like like whole things, gimmicks and everything. Um, and you're right. Yeah, they've done things like that for for Cena and other people in the past, but it's been really bad with Roman. Oh, like worse a than ever. Bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's it. Bubbly? No one's ever been pushed as hard as Roman Reigns ever. A like it's crazy. That's it. That's um, I don't know why it's good. Come all on these tits. Bask in the glory. He is ultimate. Grow and vote for presidential justice. Bob Lashley, new champion. Uh, glad to see your white heroes fall on payback tonight. Oh, and how could I forget the scumbag, the scrumptious Big E Mysterio F Mexicans, they say. Jesus. Wow, okay. I don't even know what that, I'm not sure, like, Christ. I'm not even <laughs> sure what that donation was. Shit bomb? Getting at. No, I don't know What's either. up, Joe and Jake? What's up? I'm hoping Paul Heyman is the mastermind behind Retribution. I think it would have been better for Retribution to tear down the ring and beat Braun and the Fiend down. Then Roman comes out and pins Braun to win. Yeah, I mean, Cog, thank you for becoming a $5 shit bum. I, I thought Retribution was going to come out and take out Otis. I thought Roman was going to win and then Otis was going to come out, cash in, and then Retribution was going to show up and take out Otis and then Roman was going to kind of like smile and walk away with the title. And maybe we don't know if it, if, if he was with Retribution. Would have been more interesting. Debe's cousin. Oh, my God. I hate that I am saying this, but I actually like Roman Reigns right now. <laughs> they tried something different with him, and now am I want to see his character more. The big issue is taking the title off the Fiend so quickly that was kind of bullshit. Yeah, the Fiend is a joke, and so isn't Braun. I don't Braun know. looks stupid again throughout this match with some of the decisions they made. The Fiend it can't hold on to a belt to save his life, so he loses the belt quickly yet again. I mean, it's like, oh, come on. 
Yeah, so I mean, I, I listen, don't know what they're going with here, but I, it just doesn't. I never want to see the fiend again. I never want to see Braun again. Why? Why let the fiend win the title? I understand what they're going with with Roman. Yeah. But I'm why? Saying, why? Why have the fiend win the title last week at SummerSlam to have him lose it a week later? Yeah, I don't be. I don't know. It's because they're idiots. I mean, Roman was going to take it from Goldberg, not the fiend. So it's not like he has to write that history's wrong. I would have rather Braun have the belt. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, it would make more sense. Well, Bray needs to get out of the title picture because this way, Bray. The, the, to be honest, this is them protecting the Fiend because the Fiend wins, then he doesn't really lose it. Yeah, he doesn't exactly. get pinned. He never gets pinned. So yeah, get they beat. think it's they think it's getting it. Out. They think it's protecting him actually. So that's the thing is it's, but it's just all stupid. The titles are all meaningless in this company right now. The titles all suck. Um, Braun Strowman is garbage. So isn't The Fiend. Um, I'm kind of interested in what they're doing with Roman. Let's see what happens, I guess. But just what a mess this company is, as far as I'm concerned. You're in some dire streets. Self Games channel. For sure. Thank you for that. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, and Raw tomorrow night, there's no Roman on Raw. No, and so, that's the thing. And now Drew's injured, so they don't have their top star on Raw either. Yeah, like what's going to happen on Raw tomorrow night with Raw real abysmally what else we got? Sleepy oh, Raw tomorrow. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's you want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Retribution isn't important enough. Don't appear on 2PPVS now. I could care less Roman being heel is most interesting thing. Just hope it doesn't lead to him and Brock again at WrestleMania. Oh, good Lord, no. Alexis, sweet ass, thank you for the $3. Please let us never see Brock and Roman ever again. Like, dude. I could see Brock's the face and Roman's oh. the heel. And... Maybe. Like, like, when he came yeah. back. Remember when, remember when Brock came back and kicked the shit out of Cena? That was awesome. Oh, yeah, and he was here we the go, hero to, to us it, at that point. Here we go, about to get it, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh no. The only good match was the women tag titles match. Dot the Mysterio match was same old same, but okay. Four out of ten. BD Chop and Screw. Thanks, man. What's been up, man? Thank you so much for the donation, man. Thank you guys for dropping some of your seriously hard-earned money right now, especially with everything going on in the world, man. Thank you guys for helping me uh, keep on the air here. And, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think I like the women's tag match the best. And, you know, the Bobby Lashley, he had to win. If Bobby Lashley didn't win, then that whole group is a joke. So, thank thankfully, that did happen. Poor Apollo Crews. But, um, you know, generic Crews loses. So, I don't know what to tell you. Beatty Chop and Screw, thank you. Dominic Coles, thank you for uh, subbing to the channel. Pour my beer. Pour my cerveza in the friggin' chat. Somebody pour him a big, long cerveza that looks like private parts. Okay, how about that? That's and now really we have Helena Cell apparently, uh, allegedly being scheduled for November 1st. So it seems to be that Clash of Champions oh, of the 20th. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Oh, interrupted it. again. Bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. They're coming oh. in. Hey, Joe and Jake. I watched the show tonight. <laughs> Roman was such a jerk. I didn't like the ending. I miss the old hard-working man Roman. Also just making the rounds. I am here to collect my royalties from all the money you made from my character. <laughs> all right, all right, Tommy. Show me the contract, brother. Show me the contract. <laughs> you had to pop in and Choke you with hello. your scarf. You already did collect the fees. You got 100,000 subs from Super me. Super chat. Party. I gave you 100,000 subs. Hi. Hey, Ibrahim. Alize, what's up? Thanks for subbing, or thanks for donating. What's up, Ibrahim? Uh, Ibrahim, 499, thank you. Super chat party. So it looks like they have no planned show in October because they were probably supposed to go to Saudi. Since they went in February, they would also go, it seems likely, in October. And now they're not going to be able to do that, so more than likely. Well, good. I don't, see, I don't see how they'll be able to go to Saudi Arabia. Please, God, yeah, don't go there. Again. How could they manage that? There's no way. In a pandemic, there's no way. No. I but if thinking. anybody would, would force it and find a way to make his staff go, it would be Vince. We can't even get Pac in AEW. I know, I know. And they want to, you know, I, I could just see them figuring out a way to do it. 
Yeah, I nobody. They're not doing it. No way. They'd be what like a walk up. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Long way away, but fantasy WrestleMania card. The Rock or Cena return win Rumble to face heel Roman. Edge versus Orton final match. Lesnar versus Slashley. Ray versus Dominic. I'd try hold of Sasha Bailey, but I'd kiff they can. Thoughts? It's a great question. Um, Alexa, sweet ass. Thanks for the three dollars. I I don't know, man. I think The Rock would probably be a really good as a Rumble winner. That'd be cool. Yeah, The Rock wins the Rumble. But I always have a problem when someone comes back and wins the Rumble. I'd rather see The Rock just have one of the title matches and then have somebody else win the rumble or have a yeah have a or even have a match against roman when there's no belt but if there was a belt fine but you know maybe the rock and uh yeah you'd rather have somebody current win the rumble and the rock is a challenge thing rock challenges roman reigns um maybe he's turned a different attitude and the rock don't like it you know, The Rock got your role on the movie set. Now, you know, you, you know, walking around and the way you acted, you start acting like a different person. You know, you're going around Hollywood, you're saying this and that, and you're acting like, you know, blah, blah. And he's and he could be just a smug asshole to The Rock. It'd be great. But um, I would put I would put Cena in. What if you, you could put Cena and The Rock in the Rumble and a couple other people, too, so that it's like, wow, any one of these people could win. And, yeah, that's maybe not a bad idea. And then have none of those guys win, maybe, but... You know, I, just right now, there's no star power. I mean, that's what that's why Roman coming back is a good thing. I don't care how much I hate Roman or hated him or how much you've hated Roman out there, but the fact of the matter is, it should being be back is positive. It right, it should be a good thing that he's back. And to give you an indication that it is somewhat of a good thing, look at the numbers here tonight on this show. Two hundred people have subscribed here tonight, and on top of that, SummerSlam we received twenty five thousand live views. 25,000 live views during SummerSlam. Tonight, we received 58,000 views live during this little stupid payback pay-per-view. And, I mean, I've been doing this since before anybody else you could think of who goes live about wrestling. Nobody else has done it as long as I have. All right? I've seen all the numbers. I've seen all the trends. I've seen all the stats. I'm the one who freaking started the full show review thing. Nobody else even wrote that ever before. So here's the deal. I've seen all the trends and all the traffic. I haven't seen traffic like this in in uh, over since I think WrestleMania of not last year, the year before. WrestleMania the year before, and we certainly have anything haven't had anything like this since before COVID. Every single well, Monday I think night, when came back from leukemia, you had a big uptick too. Right? Yeah, when he came back from leukemia. Yeah, but it was also bigger then too. Yeah, it's just it's one. It's you can't argue it. The amount of people that searched for Roman and searched for this thing tonight that went down, you know, the guy, oh, my God, thank you for being back because we needed ratings. Yeah, I mean, he's you know what I mean? They just need to handle him better overall. That's the problem. And and now I think they're finally seeing what he, you know, how he needs to be utilized. And I'm I'm intrigued. I'm not agitated i'm not bored i'm intrigued i'm curious i want to know is he going to be talking is Heyman going to be doing most of the talking uh who is he going to be feuding with first you know there, there's a, a lot of what ifs and possibilities and i think it's good to have some unsure direction at this time rather than know how everything's going to turn out at least we don't know you know everything specifically uh yeah you're right i didn't put the word yeah i should put review in it because otherwise uh they won't be able to find it because some people look for reviews to be honest ed um yeah it's one of those things man um did you just throw up in your shirt no i'm still coughing like a bastard oh yeah <laughs> what do you well you can tell me off air but does your daughter negative we don't know yet oh wow no, okay. hopefully tomorrow we'll find out are As you feeling right now, okay still, i'm feeling like shit i've been I'm, I'm imagining she just has a sinus infection and that's what i have but they're viewing her and, and labeling her as unconfirmed positive, right? Because you gotta, you gotta just assume. Because she has, she has no taste, no smell, so she has all the symptoms, and that's what I'm dealing with. So, so hopefully we don't uh, have it. I, 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 well, I woke up with my nose. Friday, so I woke up with my nose stuffed this morning because it was only like it was it's colder, right? So all those like sinus allergies and stuff, and then it gets colder and it all just stays in your face right there, and it's nasty. So, but yeah, if she's got COVID, I mean, 
I'm hoping not, because if it's just a sinus infection, then she doesn't have to miss her first week of school and all that stuff. Oh, but yeah. The good news is if you get COVID and you get past it, the good news is you should have antibodies, hopefully. The bad yeah, hopefully. news is, you know, if you're kind of scared. Getting worse sick, you know, because you can still get sick, but hopefully it'll make you less sick. Right. But uh, maybe you should go uh, stop going mini golfing, huh? Yeah, right. The one time we go out two yeah. weeks ago. Right? Yeah, you're Figured an asshole. That would, that would be the one to cause it. Wearing masks, too, you know? It could be anything at this point. Yeah, but. who the hell knows? I mean, you almost you almost wonder if you want it, right? Because, like, back when the Spanish flu happened and all those people, yeah. all the people that didn't die, it was because they got some version of it years before. And all these people died, and they were people that never encountered the first version of it. So the second version of it, like, just wiped people out. So... I don't know, man. It's almost like you... I mean, I don't know, dude. It's crazy. It's wild. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah. I just wish she got one of the rapid tests, but they don't have those available right now. Right. So mostly the fastest they can do it is in three days. Hope you can so take, all the, take all that shit, man. You better be taking the goddamn <laughs> vitamin C, vitamin D. I'm on a bunch of vitamins to begin with. Yeah, you're right about so. that. Um, what's it? We need a zinc. Uh, if you got a Z-pack, though, those are great. You got to get those prescribed, though, so... Antibiotics. Those helped you though. They're bullshit. They're, they're freaking keeping them. Well, yeah, hopefully my test comes back negative so I can get treated for this too. Because yeah, they're not they're not even willing to treat you until they know for sure. I'm gonna come down there and bang you, leave my wife and bang you so I can get it. Here we go. I need to get, to get it. it, man. Here we go. About to get it, man. Alberto Ortiz. Oh, 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 Alberto oh, no. Ortiz. What up, Ortiz? Jay is Jay Hood. Enjoy, brother. You work hard. God bless you and your family and wife. You fun. Love, Jay Hood. WWE suck. Jay on you. I love you. Thank you. Jay Hood, thank you, brother. Yeah. Is that really you, Jay Hood? Alberto Ortiz? You're Jay Hood? You ain't a black guy. What are you dropping all those M-bombs for? You? What are you, racist Mexican? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. you. That makes sense now. It all makes sense, Jay Hood. That all makes sense, brother. That's crazy. Expose yourself. Nah, man, I love you. I love you guys. I was kidding anyway, the whole thing. Um, you're a beast. We got more donations coming in. Just let them play. We we'll want to hear what you guys have to say about uh, WWE Payback. You've got a new subscriber. Tonight, uh, De La Cruz Family Vacation. <laughs> Thanks for subbing to the channel. Now, that's a long name. That's a hell of a name. De La though. Cruz Family La Familia Vacation. Thank you for subbing to the channel, man. What up? Appreciate it. Zinc, vitamin D, and C on delay peasy. Ooh, and vitamin B12 will help you absorb all of that stuff. Amaze Flicks, yeah. thanks for subbing. B12 is uh, really important. Yeah, absolutely. Keep you keep you awake, too. Then that melatonin will knock you out at night. Yeah, that and the weed. Dude, that shit gives me crazy dreams sometimes. Melatonin? Yeah. Hey, guys. I've heard Did oh, God. See my oh, God. Night? What I know. Tonight? It's Tyler Fat. What was great? I especially went with Roman Wayne's went crazy and pulled out his penis. <laughs> I like Roman Wayne's penis. My name is Squire <laughs> Fat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Goddamn, speaking of pregnant triad squad, I wouldn't pull out of Liv Morgan. Where is my racist asshole? Brock can't return since he lives in Canada and there's a travel ban. Oh, yeah, and F Tommy's corpse. F Tommy's corpse. F his corpse. Uh, Tyler, thank you for the donation, man. It's good to hear from you. Right now. Who the hell was that? Oh, Deftones. Deftones, thank you. Uh, and then, uh, wait a minute. Legend FF, thanks for subbing, Legend. What, uh, Jake? I thought he was in Denver. He might. I thought said that he was in Denver, not Canada. Like visiting? God knows. Visiting? No, because for living. Brock. What? No way. No way. He lives in Canada. He's got a big is he, farm. Is he in Canada? I thought he came down when the pandemic started. He, I don't know. I mean... I don't think so. I could have heard something. You ridiculous piece of shit. Yeah, you heard something. You heard you're ridiculous. <laughs> you're, you're ridiculous. Um, um, currently in Maryfield, Saskatchewan. Still there in go. Saskatchewan. I mean, I, I always, yeah, he's right up. Because he, he, he grew up in Minnesota, so he moved a little north 
I, he may have visited Colorado for some reason, but unless he's got a side home there, maybe it's possible. But uh, yeah, God, I just wasn't sure. He might could have a little place over there, and maybe they came back. So that could be. I just true. heard something about Denver with him when the pandemic started. He wanted to get that Smoky Mountain High. Well, that's a different place, but shut up. <laughs> Super Rocky Chats. Mountain. Jesus. Party. Good God. 72 quadrillion 384 trillion 756 billion 298 million 374 thousand 978 pounds baby announced by Rose and Jax. Oh, good. Blech. Blech. Uh, Spaz Phoenix, thanks for the two dollars. Canadian. No Canada, no home and native land. Spaz, thank you, man. True Patriot love and all thy sons command. I love you. Uh, that would be a gigantic fat baby. And it'd be whining like crazy. I'm going five out of ten for payback tonight. Jake's about on the same board. What do you guys think about payback tonight? Leave it in the chat right now. Love to see the comments start scrolling on by and see what we got there uh, for that. Is there something we missed at all here tonight that you can think of that I, I maybe we missed? That's it. We covered uh, all eight matches. We didn't really talk much about the pre-show. I missed as I it. Said, I missed the pre-show. So yeah, I missed it tonight. I can't believe it, but I did. I usually it was a nine-minute match between Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and the Iconics. The Riot Squad went over. So oh, oh God, Nia Nakrin is Bailey Sanaya. And not- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, Nia Nakrin is Bailey Sanaya. And not- <laughs> what a sell job, right? God, she was terrible. She, she's terrible. Oh, oh God! Nia ah, Nakrin is Bailey Sanaya, and not <laughs> poor not. It was like she's so bad that tonight I liked it. It was funny to me. Like I don't know, she's just that bad. Usually, like I'm enraged, but like tonight it was. Chat's I, giving I, a lot of five threes and sevens. So, yikes! An average of that would be about a six. Yeah, I would think. Um, I think if you're at a four, five, or six. I think I think you're in your right mind. If you're at a four or maybe a five, maybe a six, maybe. You might be in your right mind. Probably closer to three, four, and five, but you're in your right mind, I think, in those levels. Anything above a seven is crazy to me. I think you're on drugs. Anything below a three, you know, you really hate this product, I guess, and whatever. But, um, you know, yeah, I... It goes, though. I mean... Uh, five halfway through seems the most feasible for ratings at this point. It, it really was run of the mill. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good either. They had a couple of moments that were more entertaining than not, but it left a lot to be desired and more questions than answers. I feel so at least we have a little bit to look forward to as far as SmackDown goes, not much for raw, but at least SmackDown, we have a few story points that are interesting. Yes, We've got Sma- Bailey and Sasha on SmackDown. We've got Roman Reigns in the fallout with The Fiend. We've got Matt Riddle. You know, So there's a couple of things. Biggie. Well, that's the thing is we really have a great setup for um, SmackDown kind of, but what the better. hell is Raw going to do? To it. Raw, I, I don't know. What are we going to get? The, the Street Profits taking on Angel Garza and Andrade again? Oh, God, yeah. It's going to be that starting match that's 25 minutes with Three commercials. Yeah, we're gonna get that probably oh. again, you know, or some some way, shape, and form with that. We'll get the underground with Dolph and one of the Viking Raiders. Um, we'll see Randy Orton and Keith Lee. I imagine have some sort of confrontation since Drew won't be there. Jesus, and I imagine we'll see the the hurt friggin' business talk about their U.S. title, and that's probably it for Raw. I mean, all I can say is that I appreciate that we got this show because even though it's it wasn't a very good show, you know, some storylines are able to progress. It was better than Raw and SmackDown to me, and it helped me out per, uh, professionally. <laughs> so I appreciate the WWE doing it and Roman being back, and, you know, we got the most subs in one show that we've had in over six months. We got the most um, viewership in a while. Um, and we got the most traffic in a year. So, you know, Roman being back, this was a good thing for everybody in wrestling. I assume that it's potential that the ratings could do a little better or stay at what they're at around 2 million for SmackDown. 
And so it's only good for everybody. But now, can WWE start writing good stories and start changing that? Because if that doesn't change, we're still screwed if these stories don't change. And there's nothing to suggest that the WWE is going to get better with any of this stuff. And based on the shit that comes out of Keith Lee's mouth and how awkward he's been on the show, we're in fucking trouble. So, you know, great right now for the stats and the interest for a second. But good Lord, the weekly show and the creative, I think we're fucking still screwed. Until Vince isn't, it's just Vince. Like, he's, a, it's a, the guys who produce WrestleMania 9 are in charge of everything. Do we realize this? WrestleMania 9 are in charge of WWE right now. Bruce Pritchard, Vince McMahon. And there is no Jim Cornette. That's the problem. Vince McMahon, yeah. Bruce... There's no filter to get through the yes-men that surround Vince to argue some sense and sensibility. And Pat Patterson. There's no Pat Patterson. He's no, out, no sc either, he's out so. scouting asses still, I think, but I don't think he's <laughs> saying a damn thing about the shows. No, there's no one there to go against what Vince wants or doesn't want. No one to tell him, hey, wait, don't ripped up the script. We worked hard on that. You know, those type of things. Yeah. There's nobody that wants to do anything other than keep their job. You know, and Vince is just... And you know, there's, a, there's a sense of fear instilled in the business at this point in time because he has let people go randomly, people that were there for a long period of time, too. Everyone's replaceable. Especially with COVID. If you, before, it used to be like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go. I'll make 50000 a year on the independent circuit, and I'll be happy. And now it's, oh, shit. I get let go. You know, AEW doesn't want me. I don't get hired by AEW. There, there's not really much independent stuff going on. Or money. To pay people. How many independent wrestling companies either went out of business or on hold indefinitely because they're not going to be able to rent rings or pay for things because many independent wrestling companies and producers, a lot of times it's like their second job. They do their yeah. job and then they do their independent wrestling as a hobby. So that, that really, COVID, we haven't really talked a lot about that, but this pandemic may, has put a giant dent in the independent wrestling business when it Absolutely. was... It was on fire. Like, yeah, it was, it was such a resurgence. People were going to these shows locally more than they were viewing TV shows and going to the TV tapings. Right. Ratings were up for independent shows. Like little anything, any little independent show anywhere was doing more, was doing 30 to 40 percent more business than they had done in the last 15 years or 10 years. And there's more of them surviving and popping up everywhere. And granted, they may only have a crowd of 100 or 500, but in the past, they would have crowds of 30 or none or whatever. And so that that business was thriving, and it was eventually would have come down a little bit, I'm sure, but not you wouldn't have ex expected because of COVID, you know, or this uh, pandemic to happen. Yeah, exactly. That's for sure. So, you know, WWE ratings dropping, dropping, dropping. But the independent scene was doing a little bit better than usual. And now they're completely crash landed. And there were probably people who took out loans, probably people who got cocky, like, oh, my God. like, Well, especially because it was the big WrestleMania show. So people rented these huge facilities and uh, got more. You know, if they used to sell out 2,000 seats, they got 4,000 seat arenas. You know, they did things like that because everybody thought that there was this big boom. So they spent all their own money building up for these huge WrestleMania weekend shows. And mania didn't happen, you know, in, in its normal way. So everybody missed out on a lot of money and ticket sales and autograph sessions and, you know, all the different c conventions that happened at that time. And since then, people, unless you were on television and you could do private tapings, there's no shows. So the J boat says, Joe, there's been a ton of indie shows going on. You've just been missing it. No, no, you're right. I know there has been. There, 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 they have been. Now. But th there's been a lot that have. Small few and far between i mean there was one that i was gonna commentate and then it got moved three times because the location got uh called out by the cops or whatever um vxs wrestling held their show and then they had no ropes because they couldn't get their ring so there was major problems with that but you know i i don't know man and i may be i, I should be at their next event commentating their next event on fight tv so hopefully that will be good and uh hopefully it'll be good uh wow Good Lord. 
Um, let me go back to the donos. There's a few more left. Jake, you probably want to get out of here, man. You're feeling probably horrible. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go try and take some NyQuil and all that fun stuff. But I NyQuil. appreciate everybody being so awesome. Good old NyQuil. Yeah, better than uh, better than nothing at this point. Try it out and hopefully we get the I'll, – I'll message you when I get the test results tomorrow morning. So, Well, yeah. I'm going to bring my kids over like it's chicken pox and get them all taken there care of it too. You know, herd immunity. Get everybody sick at once. Yeah, here. You're a diggy I really don't think she has it. Go I get COVID. Just, but. My mother is working in Boston still, and she hasn't – nothing's happened, but she's 69, so. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want anybody near that stuff. Yeah, it's the older people. VXS Absolutely. turned out uh, pretty well, things considered. The collective was just announced today. The J-Boat, thanks, man. Yeah, I should be there announcing that show, so hopefully, uh, you know. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't want to have to. Yeah, hopefully it won't be canceled like this time. But yeah, Jake, man, love you, dude. Have you have a good night? And let me know and kisses, baby. Kisses, everybody. Thank you for a great night. We'll see you tomorrow night for Raw, good, bad, or ugly. We'll still be here to make you smile. So stay sexy, stay healthy, and we'll see you then. Everybody, give Joe some love and keep with it. All righty. Good night, Jakey. And um, I w and yeah, we'll be live tomorrow night for the Raw review. So and I'll probably have a couple of videos out during the day as well. So remember that a lot of times when I when I put videos out during the day, um, YouTube does not alert you that I'm live then. So you're going to have to go and just make sure you know that I'll be live right after Raw, like always, tomorrow night. And um, and if you're a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show, you guys get free audio downloads to your phone to save your data plan and all my bonus shows that no one else ever gets to hear on YouTube. So crazy amount of stuff on Patreon, and uh, you'll get the live alert for sure. Uh, if you're on Patreon. So let's go back to the donos and see what's going on. Pour me a beer. You've got a new sub. got a new sub, man. And he's sexy. IK Turner 29. Come on! Jericho! Thank you for the sub, man. Who's the better AEW world champion? Chris Jericho or John Moxley? Let me know in the chat right now. The Twitter poll is up. Go vote on Twitter about that. Fans aren't fantasy booking WWE anymore. They are sitting back and speculating how much worse it will get swamps and eyeballs and Linda's use tampons. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, yeah, past Phoenix a little bit. It feels a little bit like that, no doubt about it. it. I think they still are doing it, but, yeah, I don't think people are doing as much of it. I think uh, there are some people that love to do a lot of it still, but there's a lot of people that don't quite do it the way we used that people used to do it. You know, Spaz Phoenix. So uh, I think that that's a situation. Um, I did put out that poll about who you guys thought is the better champion in AEW. And we're going to talk about the results on Wednesday on the AEW Review Live. Spaz Phoenix, thank you, brother. But um, right now, Chris Jericho is winning the poll. 252 votes. 71% in favor of Chris Jericho. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. What's up, Alexis, sweet ass? Stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. The what? demo god. What if Otis did sometime try cash in on Roman sometime and Mandy screwed Otis over? Back in the day on Tough, she admitted she pretty much wanted to fuck Roman, even though she was in relationship. I think that that's a good idea, Alexis, sweet ass. But the problem is, I just, I don't know if they'll go with that. Roman seems to not want to get into women's stuff. And I think because of his wife, which I think also makes him kind of a cunt because other people would do it. But I feel like he's afraid to. Super uh, chat. That's me. I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing. I could be way wrong. No matter how bad it gets, wrestling was there for us when all other forms of entertainment bugged off, then came back, then cucked to the SJW agendas. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing is you really got to give it up for wrestling and for the UFC. Both of these sports are here for us to entertain us. And when we're all having a tough time finding something to be entertained by and distract us, while there are important things to stand up for and support, it's really good that we be entertained and keep our minds on something. And wrestling and MMA did that. And every other sport and every other thing has turned its back on all of you. And uh, fuck everybody else. So, yeah, it's it's important to say as much as we may get critical about certain wrestling companies and things we see, at least they're here for us. You know what I mean? And they're here to distract us. What the fuck the point is, Vince? What the fuck the point is, Vince? What the fuck the point is, Vince? 
Joe and Jake I cannot believe the end of the Blue Universal Championship match was absolute bullshit. <laughs> I saw it coming from 10,000 miles away. Yeah. They fucked us in the ass so bad. Somebody called Dr. Fauci. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, Luis Antonio Alejandro. Alejandro, listen, man. The problem is it was so predictable tonight that that's the only thing that you came out thinking. Like, okay, like, I, I appreciate that we got a pay-per-view a week after a pay-per-view and the Romans back, and that's interesting. But, you know, there really wasn't anything interesting. It was all so predictable. Everything was. Even Roman, what he did, was pretty predictable. So the whole damn thing was predictable. So it felt like, okay, predictable, I guess. So the one there, there's a couple of things that could have made this show a little bit better. One is that if the wrestling was better, that would have been good if the wrestling had been better. Because then, all, uh, despite the predictability, at least you would have said, damn, that match was sick. But we really aren't saying that about any matches. And in my opinion, the women's tag match was maybe the best match of the night or Bobby Lashley's. And that's weird to say that. I think the match was a 7 or a 7.5, and those were the best matches of the night. That's not very good, but it was my favorite things. So it's a mess. But, you know, um, so there really should have been a match that was an 8.5, you know, or an 8. A couple of 8s would have really helped this show tonight. Maybe some blood would have helped the show tonight. Somebody getting busted open would have helped the show tonight. I think maybe Matt Riddle and Baron Corbin, maybe Matt Riddle getting busted open with the scepter in the head, but then he ends up winning the match and he's bleeding and he raises his hand. That would have added to the show tonight because I would have said, damn, that was crazy that what they did there. Um, and then he wins. You know, that kind of would have been interesting to see Matt Riddle gushing blood and win a match like that. Um, and that match really didn't have anything going on anyway. So that would have helped. The women were decent, uh, which is crazy. Usually the women aren't very good. And so, yeah, and then having like one or two other really good matches would have helped, and that really didn't happen. So it really just became, well, we pretty much predicted this whole show, and all right, you know, predicted the, the whole damn thing, and then it happened, and all right, go to see what happens next, I guess. So, you know, that's the one reason why I think this is a little bit lackluster, but... You know, it was nice to watch something, so I'll, I'll say that. But it's too bad. By the way, who is the top donator? Uh, Soundwave92 with the $29. Man, he's the top dog right now. And we got to give it up to the king of the wheel, J-Man from KC, who became the king of the wheel and monetized this Friday night on my other YouTube channel. Guys, I have a bunch of other YouTube channels where I do a bunch of shit, okay? Plus Twitch and all these other things, Patreon, all these things. All listed down below. Facebook, Instagram, everything. Twitter, it's all down below. Uh, my Twitter is at JCS Commentary. If you guys want to go look at my Twitter and see the poll and all that other stuff, go follow me. I'm going to be following people back and all that other type of good stuff. So shout out to Soundwave92, though. Who is the top dog right now? Pour me a beer. You've got a new subscriber. We got SOB. SOB7766 with the sub. What kind of beer are you drinking tonight, brother? What kind of beer are you drinking, son? What's up to the chat? Vince McMahon, uh, Vince McJoke. Pour me a beer. Jesus. You've got a new subscriber. Never Stop Dreaming TV 767. Thank you for subbing to the channel, man. Pour him a beer in the chat. And then it looks like we got one more donation coming in from Ed's View before we close it out. And a little bit of uh, other speculation going on out there that I'll mention in a minute. <laughs> I bet the leader of Retribution's name is Leukemia, and he's the one that convinced Roman to turn full heel. Oh, Fuck God. Fuck Bill Goldberg. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Roman Reigns reacts to his universal title win. His tweet is back where it belongs. Thank you, Ed's View. And uh, Ed, uh, Ed's View, thank you. All the way from Japan, Ed's View, with the yen. Well, actually, you donated U.S. dollars this time. Ahayou gozaimasu. Konnichiwa. Back where it belongs. Roman Reigns. What do you guys think about that? Hmm. I like his confidence, because he should be, I guess. And uh, it's going to get people mad, and that's going to help out with things, you would think, with ratings and with everything else. 
and we're going to see where they go on Raw tomorrow night, but we're going to have to wait till Friday to really get the story. And that's uh, that's a ways away. Speaking of Madden, I got to give a shout out, man, to uh, again to a listener of the show, awesome guy, SG Dirty Butt. No, I'm just kidding, SG Dirty Burt. What's up, Dirty Burt? <laughs> Dirty Butt. Dirty Butt. SG Dirty Burt. Got to shout out Dirty Burt. You've got a new subscriber. Dirty Burt bought me Madden 21. He sent me a code the other day. Said enjoy. John McCain's dead corpse. Thanks for subbing, man. What's going on? Appreciate it. Um I just man, I can't I can't thank you enough, bro. Thank you. Because I don't know I don't know if I would have bought Madden, so I probably would not have bought Madden. I would have played I would have gone back to playing 19. I've been playing 19 for 2 years, I think. So uh, shout out to the uh, Bert for the uh, the code, man. That was unbelievably nice of you. I can't even believe you did that for me, dude. That's just super nice of you to do that. Thank you. And uh, I got to build my team up, man, because I got ransacked the other day because I had no team. And I got some guy who had like a 90 overall team, and I'm like a 68 overall still. I'm going to be like the Patriots this season. 68 overall, whatever it is. WTF payback sucked, says Abine, Uh Yeah, I agree. I, don't, I think payback was bad. It was pretty bad to me. I'm glad I got something to watch, but it, it wasn't very good to me. And there was nothing crazy. I mean, when you come out saying that you think Sasha, Bailey, Nia, and Basler are the best uh, match of the night, probably. Maybe. Arguably. Then uh, that's... Um, <laughs> That's pretty t pretty strange to be honest. Like I still I say it back in, and I say it back out loud and I can't even uh I can't even believe I'm saying that to be honest. I really can't. Let's go back in time and and relive um uh match of the night. Let's really, really relive something that Jake said earlier. Bump that he took over the top. Well, I you pee -pee. Know, collapsed rope. What's the other referee's name? Doan or something? I always forget his name. Cause he had a great going. sell, what, a, three years ago or something? Two yeah, years ago. He up and <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> it's, it, but Charles Robinson did the whole, like, over-the-top rope Shawn Michaels. Yeah, he went completely, you know, <laughs> head over feet, up and over, tipped over himself. So that was pretty funny. But sadly, you have to look to the referee for a little bit of enjoyment. This this match with Roman not coming out, I get what they were going for. But Thanks, skinhead Sven, for subbing. Oh, he's not going to sign the contract till he's coming down to the match. And they're really trying to amp up the heel run. I wish he had new music. Like you said, they're not going to change that. They're not going to make a lot of things different like they should be. He should be a whole new character as a right. heel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Instead, he's just going to be a bit cooler and a bit more edgy Roman. Well, it, he may in fact be, um, he may in fact have a slight change. Sometimes when you're starting these turns, you don't just do it before the turn. Usually you do it after the turn. So you make it clear the guy is turned and then is when the change comes. So it is possible that Friday night is when we sort of get the committed change, maybe, but maybe not. Because he's so Rome, this is so synonymous with Roman. They don't want to change those things, so that may be it. But what they're definitely doing is, the way I see it, is part of the reason they're doing this to me, is because Roman may go missing at times during this pandemic. Because if it gets really bad, he may need to go away again. And yes. so I believe they're treating Roman now. They're actually going to treat Roman Reigns like Brock Lesnar. I believe. The problem is, is that one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, too, we didn't get to discuss. They said on the WWE Network, the WrestleMania must go on show that they had, that the reason Roman was gone wasn't for his sickness, but was instead because of the fact that he had twin babies. Right. So this whole time we were, we were worried about, you know, his illness and, you know, dealing with his cancer. Well, but where and, didn't that report come out that way? That was the initial report, but every the, the talent themselves were saying on the documentary that it was because he had newborn children, newborn twins. Well, then you're right. Maybe then maybe I'm inaccurate then. Maybe they are just putting Heyman maybe, with him. Maybe maybe everybody always just assumed that it was because of his cancer and 
instead really it, it was just because he didn't want to put his new newborn children at risk i get and listen i understand that you i mean and they say once the children hit roughly six months that's when your immune system starts to kick in so that's uh-huh. why it would make sense that he's able to come back now right right he was like i'm not putting my kids at risk i'm gonna and not I, for and, the first six months listen, once they get to the point where they can somewhat start to i commend him for that he should have done he's right to do that he's very right to do that because yeah I would do the same thing. I ain't going to work. I'm not putting my babies at risk. Um, you know, they're until they're old enough to be able to fight something if they get it. You know, like you said, because because, yeah, almost everybody, the kids deal with the covid pretty well, damn well. The kids just their immune systems take it out. But we have heard stories. Some of the I think it's like 20 percent of the kids who have had problems. They've been people under a, a year. Right. So, you know, you I get it. I, I yeah exactly. so if that, and I could see it so if that's the case then that makes but perfect especially sense. with him you know having having the new family that makes sense and we always just assume that it was due to the leukemia I mean we didn't just outright assume that was what was reported initially but yeah I mean it was reported so yeah a lot of people thought that so if that's not the case then I mean you know I mean I hope we never find out I hope that co- the COVID doesn't break out to where we have to like go oh shoot he's gone see it is that you know you don't want that to happen. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but good Lord, man. Roman Reigns with the win tonight. If you're in the chat, did you like Roman Reigns' win tonight? Did you like what they did? Do you like that he's heel? Is he heel? Is he not heel? Do you think he's just a tweener? What do you think about Roman Reigns? What's going on? We are going to take phone calls in a few minutes at the number, 339-226-6610. The number is going to go up in a second. If you guys want to support the channel and you want to say something about payback tonight, Super Chat down below or Streamlabs in the description box. All the way down, everything else is there. Keith Lee, bask in his glory. What did you think? I thought his promos were cringe. I don't know why, but Keith Lee is weird to me on the main roster. He keeps doing this. What's this about? Like I'm gonna keep doing this in the in the awkward with Brad with uh, Bradshaw, JBL. He was just bizarre with JBL. He just kept going, hmm, like uh, wh- yeah. What, it seemed like what was really that? uncomfortable. Oh, you're trying to sound like oh, what you're saying is interesting and enticing, but he just couldn't act. It was very very awkward. Oh my God, was it? I mean, I don't care what you say out there. That was awkward. I like Keith Lee. I loved NXT Keith Lee. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think, in, unfortunately, in NXT, I liked Adam Cole and Velveteen Dream. They were my top two guys in, in NXT. Velveteen Dream and Adam Cole. Keith Lee was below that for me, but he was very good, and I really enjoyed him, and I, w- I was like, I would have him on my roster. But this guy that I'm seeing on TV right now, this, this guy is goofy. Like, he's, like, like... All this looking and the and the weird stuff he says, like, what are they doing with Keith Lee, dude? He's like a, like, I almost think he's like retarded or something. Like, it's just weird. Like, what are you doing? He's they're either giving him too much to to act, or they're directing him terrible, or or he just can't do it. I I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take a real quick call first because we got we got phone calls coming in, lots of phone calls. Uh, eight six five. What up? Yo, 865, we lost them. They hung up. They got cold feet. Uh, Jake, what did you think about Keith Lee tonight? Cause... I, I was confused. I mean, granted, he's back in his shorts, but he's still got the same crap, you know, entrance music. It was a little bit different, but still. Thank you know, God he had his rumors. shorts. Thank God What's he had that? his shorts. Thank God he had his shorts on, but he still yeah. they still covered up his chest. Now, quickly, let me throw this out there. A lot of people said this, and there's the phone numbers right there. There's my Twitter. There's everything that's important. Uh, Patreon right there as well if you want to support the shows. Patreon is loaded. 30 hours of bonus content, my wife's podcast, my podcast, Corrupted Podcast, and so many podcasts all during the week. There's the Patreon. Thanks for signing up. Um, people say, what about Otis? You know, and, and, and I changed my mind on this. First, I ranted and said, well, Otis is white, so Vince thinks it's okay for the white guy to be fat. But with the black guy, they put a thing on him. I'm, that's wrong. I was wrong in saying that. I, here's what it is. Vince thinks Otis is a funny comedy act. But he, it's actually the opposite. So anybody who thinks it's like a racist thing, it's actually the opposite. Vince McMahon thinks that Keith Lee is so important and, and and serious that he doesn't want him to not be taken seriously. So Vince thinks by putting on that cover up that he'll be taken more seriously and he'll you know he'll look better. But yeah, with, Danny but, said without the skirt tonight, he looked less country club and more burlesque dancer. So. 
Yeah, it was just like they got to get rid of it. Let the guy have his shirt off. He looks better with his shirt off. Vince is wrong. You're wrong, Vince. I understand he thinks it makes him look less goofy. And he thinks Otis looks goofy, but that's okay because Otis is supposed to be goofy. So that's why Otis gets away with it because Otis is... <laughs> so he wants to see the fat. But with Keith Lee, he's like, I don't want to see that. You need to. We need to take him more seriously. Let's cover that up. I get it, too. You know, I, I get it. 865, hello. What's up, Joe? What's up, Jake? What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, doing all right. Just playing a little NHL. Probably not as good as you, but I'm trying my best. Sometimes I'm really bad. Sometimes I'm... You know, I go back and forth on it, but yeah. How you doing? Oh, all right. All right. Uh, man, we've already been through everything with the... Uh, all the uh, WWE stuff tonight. I just wanted to comment. You were talking about the viewership being up tonight. And uh, so the first night of the, or the first call of the night was an 865 caller. And that's Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair, Kane. And I've never seen anybody other than like the people I hung out with or hang out with and watch pay-per-views with ever call. So the fact that I saw that and was like, I thought it was one of the people I was with. And it wasn't. I was like, oh, shit. People are finding Cronin, Cronin Channel. Oh, so yeah. I was yeah. like. Yeah, the phone call. I haven't seen phone calls like this in over a year. Um, there, was over th there was over 382 phone calls um, in the first hour of this review, which is more than I've seen um, in about a year. So the traffic tonight has been insane. We are live, Costanza. What's up, brother? Um we're back to live again, Carlton and Roman. It's we're live, but yeah. So it crazy traffic. So Roman brought the traffic in, man. It was it was crazy. I hate to say that, but like I mean, Knoxville, Tennessee is not a huge wrestling town or anything. I mean, by no means. Well, but yeah. the fact that I saw an eight six five number. I mean, granted, they didn't say anything, but I was just like, <laughs> oh shit. It was, it was Bianca. Like, she hung up. She was like, oh, now. <laughs> I gotta. I'm gonna call him and talk trash to him. I. I. I all I've said is I love you, Bianca Belair. I, I've said I have praised you for years, Bianca, and you've blocked me, but that's okay. Nine five four. What's up? Oh hey, what, did you notice that the fiend got low blowed in the match and yeah. he felt it? Well, like, did, I thought the fiend. I thought he couldn't feel pain. How does he feel pain? Pain from getting low blowed. Yeah, one minute he's the most powerful thing we've ever seen in the ring ever, and then other times he's a, a regular guy. And then other times he can loot, he can get knocked out by a low blow. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very uh, uh, confusing. We already, we already found out his weakness now. Uh, what's that? Like him getting low blow, that, that affected him a lot. Well, it affects anybody a lot. So I mean, he's just a regular human, I guess. I mean, I don't know. But is it weird that Roman Reigns got into the match when the match, when the referee already rang the bell? How is he in, supposed to be in the match now when he rang the bell? Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. I mean, you like, if, like he should be automatically disqualified for being in the match. Well, I would think that yeah, you can sign after, which makes you now in the match. But the bell already rang, so you essentially really missed the match. But you know, it's it's wrestling, so it's stupid, and they're gonna get away with it. But. It was a little bit weird, but I got to tell you, I didn't mind it. You know, it was stupid, but it's one of those things where I'll, I'll let them get away with that. In fact, I think WWE gets away with this more than I would let AEW get away with what they did at their contract signing last Wednesday when Moxley said, oh, you missed page 17, though, you know? So that's, it is what it is, you know, I guess, I don't know. But it is wrestling, and it's goofy, and... You know, it, it was stupid, kind of. I mean, I kind of rolled my eyes a little bit, but then I kind of thought, oh, it's a pretty good idea. You know, have them come down and get the extra heat or whatever, surprise people. I don't know. But we pretty, we sort of, I mean, you knew he was going to show up, you know, and there were people, we talked about it last week, that maybe he won't start the match off and he'll come out. So that was something we did see coming too. So then that happened. So Pour me a beer. You these are things that we kind of have talked, to, ha talked about. Paranoid Paul. The game. Um, thank you, Paranoid Paul, for subbing. Again, I just want to say uh, uh, rest in peace to the to the bullet, Bob Armstrong, who passed away uh, the other day. Obviously, just legend, great, 
Hall of Famer, wonderful guy, Road Dog's dad, all the Armstrong family, uh, just a sad thing, along with uh, Chadwick passing away as well. So rest in peace and the Black Panther. Uh, just a horrible we uh, week, a couple weeks here. Weird stuff. Um, people that were good, really good people to me. And uh, it's just, uh, just what, what the hell? was? What is 2020, bro? We started with Kobe. Just gets worse and worse. And we also lost about to come down the aisle. We lost the Fink, bro. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Was that Look last year? I don't even oh, remember. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's I'm going to come back and fight Roman. Play my music, Joe. Oh, my God. Are you serious? He's going to come back and fight Roman. He's going to get out of the wheelchair and he's going to show up. And he's going to fight Roman. It's Lex Luger is here. Lex Luger's here on Monday Night Raw. And he's, my God, he's, he's gotten out of his wheelchair. I can't believe this. You are witnessing without a doubt one of the biggest miracles in all of wrestling history. Lex Luger is out of his chair and he's, he's attacking Roman Reigns. And here we go. The total package is back in the World Wrestling Federation. Sorry. Um, <laughs> thanks, Lex Luger, or Leg Luger, as you donated under the name Leg Luger. Appreciate it. By the way, uh, we are 30 likes away from 500 likes, and I have a super OCD, so we needed 500 likes because I've got OCD. Um, thank you very much. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> Don't you love when Lex Luger donates? <laughs> Don't you love when he donates? It's always better that he donates rather than um, murder a female. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. That was too far. He went too damn far. What was that, Leah? What'd you say? Dildo asses. Oh, come on. My wife say something like that. Why would you do that? Dildo asses. Oh, come on. Naya, what's up? Super oh, Jack. Super Jack. Glad to see Roman as a heel something fresh. Glorious Eugene. Yes, glorious Eugene. I agree, man. It's really good to see Roman as a uh, as a heel. Finally, something different. We needed it, whether you hate him or don't. Something more interesting than what we've had. Coming in from the two hundred three, you're live. What's up? What up? What? Yo, fuck Lex Luger. Yo, he took mass steroids, and you know what happened with Miss Elizabeth. So fuck that nigga, Miss Elizabeth. Um, so, um, but yeah, man, that's terrible. Yo, you're right. They got JBL running around like for for fucking years looking like a baby in a diaper and they want to cover up this dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, JBL. What do you mean JBL? Well, I don't think it's on the same level. He is a little bit of a mess, but I mean, Otis is the comparison I would give to Keith Lee, you know? I'm saying, though, he looks good and he's like this this big baby face that's like Vader doing cool shit, you know? Like, they're fucking stupid. Well, be, you know, Vader was in Babyface, but whatever. Yeah. No, I, it's just a, Keith Lee with the trunks and no shirt. Looks like he's kind of a badass. Keith Lee with a spandex black thing on him looks like a goof. And I got to look this up, yo, because I didn't even see. Uh, oh, my God. That that sounds like so shit. And, uh, yeah, no, nah, it's just a whole bunch of shenanigans, man. Like you said, the pay-per-view, it's it was all right, but. Go yeah. back and watch um, on the WWE Network the backstage thing. Yeah, you'll you'll be like, what in the hell is this? I call them the WWE highlights. You ever heard of it? It's on YouTube. Yeah, because apparently. they just get the good stuff, and <laughs> you just watch that, and then you're done. Yeah, yeah, and then this shit's more entertaining than than that shit. That's sad. You know it, how wrestling is nowadays. It is sad, man. Like it's it's messed up when like pretty much you watch it just so you can watch reviews and stuff after to be more interested in like complaining or reacting to it and that's just that is so not what you want you know i mean it's like it's like aw i feel like you know aw is pretty good but you know it has its problems too but it's it's fun to react to aw but i also have fun watching it whereas with wwe a lot of times it's like i don't i'm watching it and i'm not having fun and then afterwards i'm bitching about it but it's not the same feeling you know that you get from AEW even 
Yeah, it, A-Dub is, it has youth, and it's sporadic, and it's random. Right. Like, WWE is so by the book and textbook, it just feels like correctional officers that just look in the cell and they're just programmed. <laughs> or, <I laughs> if, no, it feels like a WWE 2K video game. Like, you put, it to, you put the matches together, and then they happen, and then, okay, and then the next one. Cause that's oh what... yeah, but yeah, no, I don't know. I'm just yeah, I'm just triggered. <laughs> Vince is he's yo, he's the biggest SJW. Fuck him. Vince is the biggest they... SJW. He gets called a racist now, but you're saying he's a SJW. Yeah, he's a SJW because he's trying to shield for all these women. He had Trish on her fucking knees. Right, so right. He's the biggest one. He's the biggest one. You think if because cool, because of all his dirty right. his dirty past that now he's doing the SJW virtue signaling thing where he's like no now we love the women and that's we never did that. And then he uses his daughter to shill for that because he's a fucking genius. I think and she I think she just loves shilling for it. I think that's all. Oh that yeah, she's all about it now. She's like seeing the dollar signs and she's Vince's daughter, so there's that credibility. Yeah, he's definite. She's the shield of the world. And fuck Seth Rollins. You're not Jesus Christ, Seth. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> you were twerking. You were twerking like a fucking whore in the ring. So shut the fuck up. Who, um, you know, Keith Lee with his little rubber band stretching that he was doing in the back. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Dude, look at this. Oh, my God. I got to see this. Keith Lee. Yeah, I was watch. Um, I just like switched up right now because I'd be watching it off the TV. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, no, nah, that's bad. That's bad. You can't cover up a guy like that who looks cool, who has the look, and yeah, like the guy's a million bucks and he's doing fucking cool shit. And he lost to Randy Orton in six minutes. That's fucking trash. Yeah. Well, he beat him. He beat Randy oh, Orton he beat in, six him in six minutes. Okay, that's that's better. Okay, I thought yeah. he lost. No, they I had to, that would have been bullshit. Yeah, they had to put him over, I think, because you know he was not getting enough credit really, and it, it wasn't looking good. Whoever's letting just what he says isn't good. Like it's not been good. Like he wins, but what he's been goofy as hell, bro. Uh, thanks for the donation, by the way. But they do it all for Roman, man. So they're going to keep doing it for Roman. Soundwave ninety two coming in with the twenty nine dollars. Make Roman look strong. It's available on Patreon. <laughs> you guys can look that up. Make Roman look strong on Patreon. You guys can type that in the search bar on Patreon on your phone, tablet, or pay or whatever, and you can still download it. Uh, all, all, everything's on Patreon. Thousands of po my podcasts that you can't hear on YouTube, plus converted audio, and uh, over like sixty songs and just tons of other stuff. It's all there, like always. Five out of ten for payback tonight for me. Jake gave it a five point five or a five, pretty much. I forget if he switched back to a five. It doesn't matter. It's about a five tonight. That's basically about what it's at, no matter no matter what, anyway. So uh, you know, it is what it is. That's what it's at. And um, you know, that's the night. That's the night. And it's been a long weekend. And tomorrow night I am going to be live after WWE Raw. We'll be live right here on the Joe Cronin Show. Guys, if you haven't hit the like button down below, we are so close to 500 likes that my privates are about to grow. So let's go down below where my privates are about to grow. And uh, let's let's bring it on, bro. Let's bring that 500. Let's bring me that 500. I had about motherfucking five. 15 uh, motherfucking 80 drinks tonight. TLGW Keith says, Roman did not look strong tonight. He looked like a coward. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He did. He did look like a coward, kind of. Yeah. He looked like a smart coward, though, you know? 
Y'all seen Vicky Guerrero lately? What's up, Adam Cruz? Yeah, we talked about her doing the photo shoot at the, at the beach the other day. And she was uh, on a boat yesterday looking pretty decent as well. There we go. Boom. Hell yeah, baby. We hit it. We hit it, son. Thank God, man. Thank God. Oh, yeah? Horny guys? Yes, my wife. Uh, I think Paul Heyman and Roman, you know, it, it, I, I just wonder, man, if it's a weekly thing here, that'll be something interesting for SmackDown, no doubt about it. But I am really deeply concerned, deeply, deeply concerned about tomorrow night's Monday Night Raw. I am very concerned what we're going to be saying tomorrow night. I am very concerned that I'm going to have a fucking meltdown on this review tomorrow night of Raw. Because Raw has almost nothing else going on right now. And I just can't imagine what they're going to come up with. Oh, this is a long weekend or is it next weekend, Jimmy Joyce? Next weekend's the long weekend? I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, I, I'm very concerned about tomorrow night. I'm concerned about tomorrow night having a goddamn meltdown. Because Raw could be that bad, man, tomorrow. It could really be bad. Where it's like, well, we're waiting for, you know, <laughs> we're waiting for uh, next week. You know, we're waiting for um, friggin' AEW Wednesday and SmackDown Friday. Which I would be shocked if that was the case. Lord Chameleon says, I'm praying to have a heart attack so I don't have to watch Raw tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. Next Monday is Labor Day. Yeah, you're right. Wow. And they're going out for some hangings. Well, they might be in Portland. I'll tell you that. They might be over there. You ridiculous piece of shit. But, yeah, it could be, it could be meltdown time. I mean, no, do you guys remember my meltdown from Raw a few weeks ago? I mean, I've had a couple of meltdowns these last couple of... I apologize for my language. But, uh, I did, you know what I mean? These Some of these Raws, man, have flipped my lid. And, oh my God, they have been... They have been rough. Where's the Raw review from... Uh, what's the Raw review from a few weeks ago where I just absolutely snapped? I think it was a Raw review. I started the show like, like actually like not like just like jacked up. You know, like I was really pissed off. I don't think it was uh it wasn't August third, I don't think. So if it wasn't August third, maybe it was uh maybe it was a month ago now? Has it really been a month? Yeah, it was a month ago. I started the show pissed. We're coming out saying why didn't they do this tonight? They're coming out two weeks later and doing it. And then it double doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you got to offer us, WWE. This is what you have to offer us, dude. <laughs> Let me just move this over here. Oh, yeah. That's what you have to offer us, huh? I got something to offer you. It's my steaming shit in my pants. I had to stand up to do this. Mm -hmm. I can't even sit down to do this Raw review right now because I'm so pissed off. You want me to flex right here? Come on. You want me to fucking flex WWE? Boom! It never <laughs> works. It never looks right. I could have done a ton of other stuff tonight besides be here for this piece of crap. I could have... I could have taken a crap. I could have taken a big fucking pile of shit crap is what I could have done. I could have shoved this TP up my bunghole instead of watching this show tonight. All right? I could have reigns for you because I think I am broken. All right, Matt Hardy? I think... I've become broken. <laughs> <laughs>
What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? I think I've become broken. I think I've become fucking unhinged by the show tonight. And I swear to God, if you're in the chat right now and you don't stick the thumb up my ass, you're an asshole. I want to tear down the walls of WWE. I want to tear down. <laughs> I want to tear down the walls at W. <laughs> I want to tear down the walls at WWE. I want to go help them move out of those old headquarters into the new building. And the first thing we do when we move into the new building is we throw Bruce Pritchard off of the building. <laughs> and he lands on Vince McMahon. By the way, I apologize to Bruce Pritchard because he is subscribed to me on this channel. So, Bruce, I actually love your podcast, Bruce. I love you, Bruce. You can hire me anytime for commentary in WWE, Bruce. Here I am. What's the name? I mean, uh, something to wrestle with. I, why something to wrestle with? I mean, you're subscribed to me, so obviously you guys know that there's talent you're missing out on. <laughs> what in the blue hell did I watch tonight on WWE Raw? This, as I said two weeks ago, will go down as one of the lowest rated WWE Raws you've ever seen if it doesn't go down as the lowest rated Raw that you've ever seen. I said it wouldn't be last week, but it will be this week. And mama, daddy, <laughs> drop of water from my dehumidifier. WWE, you ruined my wig. You sons of bitches. Ruined my wig! <laughs> no! Now I'm really angry! <laughs> you wanna see me drown in my own fucking misery? You want me to drink? You want me to get drunk? Of Svetka? You want. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? You want me to do it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. I'll do it all for you. I'll do it all for you. I'll do it all for fucking you. I'll do <laughs> yeah, we don't see we don't I, I'm I'm worried that tomorrow night I'm worried tomorrow night's raw is gonna cause me to flip out like that. I'm worried about tomorrow night's raw. What else we got? Be dead oh, serious. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Can we get Bret Hart review of the payback? Well, the bottom line is I thought the payback sucked and I never even watched it. I was still thinking about the SummerSlam. Easy, thank you for the $3. Yeah, I was wearing a Black Panther shirt, huh? BB, B. Lee, what up, B. Lee? Yeah, it's my Black Panther shirt. I don't even think, I think I have an Iron Man one too, but I don't remember. Then I've got the Batman, you know, the Batman ones. <laughs> Noah Driscoll goes, you're about one of the craziest sons of bitches I ever did see. But damn it, you ain't funny. <laughs> Akaz, thanks for the, uh, thanks for subbing, man. What's going on? How about the time a, a vacuum, I, I banged a vacuum cleaner. You know what I mean? You ever see that? Vacuum. I, a vacuum cleaner sucked me off, essentially. I don't know. That's, that's, that seems to be missing. I thought I thought it might be here, but it, it's definitely missing. I thought I thought I had it somewhere here. 
be making about both of them. Play near me, but it's in Asheville. What about a Popeyes? A what about a Popeyes? How far is that? Play Remember near this? Me, but Dude, that would get picked up by somebody. Look, look at this psychopath who desperately wants a Chick Fil A near him. <laughs> I have a Chick Fil A. It's in Asheville, but I would have to. I, I do have a Chick Fil A near me, but it's in Asheville. What but, about a Popeyes? You know, what about a Popeyes? How far is that from you? I guess. I guess to enjoy this joke, you really have to realize that Tommy is paranoid about people knowing where he lives and stuff like that. So I guess to enjoy the joke, you'd have to know that. That's pretty far away. Do the Popeyes then make it? Maybe make it about both of them. Hold on a second. You gotta write that down. Hey Google, how far is the nearest Popeyes from me? Don't dox yourself. The drive from your location to Wendy's is zero point four miles. <laughs> I have no idea why it said that to me. <laughs> He's got a new Twitch follower. <laughs> Hell yeah, take my pants off. Wait. I said Popeyes. Why would it say Wendy's? <laughs> oh my god, man. That was crazy. That was so crazy. Lou999 or 99. <laughs> Thanks for following me on Twitch. What's up? <laughs> I couldn't believe that happened, dude. Hey, Google, how far is the nearest Popeyes from me? Don't dox yourself. The drive from your location to Wendy's is 0 0.4 miles. <laughs> I have no idea why it said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I said Popeyes. Why would it say Wendy's? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That was the funniest fucking thing. I can't even breathe right now. I can't even breathe right now. Fuck you, Joe. <laughs> Eat the biggest bag of dicks you could ever find. I didn't do it. Your fucking stupid phone did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, this, is him, this is what happens when he blows a load. He almost swore right there. He went fuck. Like this is Tommy coming. He's coming. Joe, 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 mute this. Rewind it and mute it. <laughs> Why? God, hang on. Drew goes. He looks like meatloaf. That's what I'm saying. Mute it and rewind and just All just right. let it roll. Just let it roll. And I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> My throat's fucked up. I can't do it. I'm fucking sick. And like I I <laughs> <laughs> Something was screaming in the with no sound. And then... Anyway, five out of ten for uh, payback tonight. Tomorrow night, baby. Oh, we're gonna see you tomorrow night for uh, the raw review. Uh, if you smell what the the rock is cooking. My name is Joe Cronin. If you guys want to support the show, besides donations, go to patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Hit me up on Twitter at JCS Commentary on Twitter with questions. Email me Joe Cronin Show at yahoo.com for business stuff or anything else that you might find important or to tell me. I'm live Monday for the Raw Review, Tuesday for Throwdown on Corrupted Nation, my other channel, Wednesday for the AEW Review, Thursday for Out of Nowhere, the Wrestling Podcast with Jake, me, uh, and Friday night is Monetize This on my other channel, Corrupted Nation, um, Saturday night is the Corrupted Podcast live on Patreon, Sunday night is usually Sunday Night Gaming, where we play games all night, 
sometimes or for a while. Uh, unless there's a WWE pay-per-view or a pay-per-view that uh, is going on, which tonight there is. And look for my uh, news videos or podcasts or whatever the hell during the day in the daytime. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for being here, man. Thank you all for the support tonight. Badass shit tonight. SummerSlam, we had 25,000 people come and go during the review. Tonight, 66,000. 816 people came in at one point to this stream tonight. I haven't seen a number like that in a year and a half. And SummerSlam, we had 25,000. We blew that out of the water tonight. Must be Roman Reigns. Crazy. We got to hit me with that tennis racket Jones, man. No, oh, you know, maybe S dot too. Good night, everybody. Monetize this Friday at eleven. Joke Monetize this. Count that joke. Friday at eleven. Joke from this. Keep counting that cash, yo. Y'all know it's <laughs> war. Yeah, it's war. Yeah, let me start with saying this. What? You wanna mess a joke? You must have a fucking death wish oh. to get wrapped up. Take mouth tossed in a ditch. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck, dumb fuck. You know what time it is. Uh. That's that on me. Yeah, the road that gets lonely. All these fake fucks acting hard. Trust me, they are funnies. And this other fucking faggot, he reminds me of a maggot. If I ever see the cake, boy, I'm turning them into a faggot. I'ma keep my balls sagging. That's that. I keep it dangin'. Whipping it up, movie you're making. Spitting five up in Jamaican. Just yeah. less about your stories and the way you talk is boring. 20% of them yeah. in the chat. Oh, we are close to 69. You're right. Oh, my God, bro. We are close to 69,000. You're right. That turns me on. Damn, man. I didn't think about that. Now I'm really, now I'm really sexed up. I'm really sexed up inside. Hit that sub button if you're new. Pretty close. All right, we're really getting on here. All right, good night, everybody. I'm really going. I don't give a fuck, dumb fuck. You know what time it is. That's that homie. Yeah, the road that gets lonely. All these fake fucks acting hard. Trust me, they are funnies. And this other fucking faggot, he reminds me of a maggot. If I ever see the cake, boy, I'm turning them into a faggot. I'ma keep my balls sagging. That's that. I keep it dangin'. Whipping it up, movie you're making. Spitting five up in Jamaican. Just get less about your stories and the way you talk is boring. 20% of them in the jazz getting drunk or doing Tony's. That faggot's got come here, boy. Nibble on the cop. That faggot, young Republican. I see him's getting shot. And for every but the yes, you know we ain't gonna make it pop And it's just a matter of time We're all gonna be sitting at the top Play a what? Yeah, everybody loved Joe Cronin But before the fame, nobody ever noticed nobody. Now he's on top where he belongs Making shows almost every night I was long uh -huh. Drinking whiskey and always banging songs Joe's got a following that you could not claw Soundwave 92 in Almost every night And get ready, hope you're ready for a fight I try and give this man a chance But man, he absurd And I don't gotta say much, man, only one word You a fake, run and tell him like the Jake Man, you a snake, trust me, I'ma eat your cake I'ma clean your plate, man, I got faith oh. That I'll see you one day, trust me, man, it's only faith uh. You want attention? You got attention Now run and tell your faggot friends all that you gotta mention You already know the mission, your mouth's a power pissing And we don't change the mission, I know that you're hoping, wishing For Joe to burn down like we're shooting Hell's Kitchen But we as real as it gets, we got revolutionary vision You just a fake and phony, trust me, goofy time is ticking And I don't gotta hope it happens, you should be committed Cause you can see the patterns of the rat when he's timid And you don't gotta ask, cause you know me and Joe are with it yeah, everybody loved Joe Cronin, but before the fame, nobody ever noticed. Nah, nah. Now he's on top, where he belongs. Uh -huh. Making shows almost every night, I was long. Drinking whiskey and always banging songs. Joe's got a following that you could not clone. Nope. So tune in almost every night and get ready. Hope you're ready for a fight. Better recognize, recognize. better analyze. Yeah. It's that dollar motherfucker I terrorize. That's right. Come to your block, homie. I see those panic eyes. I'm always prepared. Me, I always strategize. Yes, that is right. I put up a fight. That's why I choke your mom's puss with my cock all night. Yeah, you heard it right. JCS in sight, but it disappeared. JD fucks his own cat at night. I'm coming on your ass. Fucking fakes always fucking turn on me. I build them up, then they hate, try to murder me. 
but they bringing guns. Yeah, they bringing hands. I'm bringing fucking bombs to annihilate your brand. Got a foul stench, got a stupid mouth. Keep it up, faggot, I might have to knock you out. I'm Think coming on. running mouse, bullets running out. I'm aiming at these motherfuckers with my dick like loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves Joe Cronin. I'm coming on your fame, nobody ever noticed. Nah. Nah. Now he's on top. Oh, God. Where he belongs. Making shows almost every night. I was long. You can use Drinking it. whiskey and always banging songs. Joe's got a following that you can not clone. So tune in almost every night. And get ready. Hope you're ready for a fight. I'm on a yeah. side this. Shout out Joe. Friday's at 11. Shout out Leah. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. This is war. war. This is war. Come at me. You know I got you, Joe. Y'all know. What up? Yo, ass dot. What up? Running on Cronin's day. Running on Cronin's day. Running on Cronin's day. Running on Cronin's day. You were riding on Cronin's dick Even though your own show is shit Are you dick riding fucks? Your minuscule channels, all your huffing Cronin's vids like an army of camels, sit and copy your shit. Make your own monetize this. You got 13 subscribers, now you're starting to twitch. You got the same mic and setup, stop riding his dick. You got the same Skype setup, who you trying to kid? Get your own fucking gimmick, intellectual property. You trying to pass Joe like he's going Monopoly. You want me making 200 bucks, you're getting fucked by the long cock and tennis racket Jones. Come fuck with me, you take and you take, and you never give it back. Sitting, hitting all the same six women in the chat. You were riding on Cronin's dick Even though your own Yo, show is shit Chris Peeps is about as real as a spray tan Face looking like it's grazed by a rape van You done fucked up, cut butt, you suck butt You cunt's bloody, you dumb fuck, and your mom's a slut huh? And while I'm at it, fuck you leech, motherfuckers Hope these words leave you shitting in your sheets, motherfuckers You are corny little bitches, this is beef, motherfuckers Watch me beat, me, skeet, skeet, skeet to think Joe Cronin should start charging admission for all the people that are riding on his dick these days. Fuck. Get your own ideas. I let you were riding on Cronin's dick. Cronin. Even though your own show is shit. shit. I fuck you right. I let you were riding on Cronin's dick. Cronin. Even though your own show is shit. shit. Wants to go? Call the show. I'll fuck your ass. <laughs> <laughs>